Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, suddenly music, my god. My computer is playing songs that I don't even have. What is this nonsense? It's the same playlist I've had. Also, the window's not in the right place, cause I trimmed it, didn't I? So let's fix that real quick. There's the bottom. There we go. Well, now, kind of. There we go. Close enough, eh? The first game you should make should be about making games. I can go. Uh, we have to name it. What do you guys want to name it? What is that? Uh, okay. I'll go work a minute. I can't see half of that screen because of the resolution I'm playing at. It's a bit bizarre, but. It is. She'll be a dude with black hair and a funny shirt. Sleepy's Games? Game Maker Pro? We'll go Sleepy's Games. Because I'm Sleepy! And I shall name myself Sleepy because I'm creative. Oh, yeah, I have a camera. My god, except the game's over here, so I wouldn't even be looking at the camera 90% of the time, but it exists! So I may as well turn it on. Any day now, game. There we go. We shall develop a new game, because we don't have anything else. Apparently it's not going to show the tutorials. I'm a male. Despite popular belief, I'm in fact a male. Apparently it's not going to show us the tutorials that I've already seen, so we'll just... Oh, never mind! <laughs> never mind. It's going to do it anyway. I'm mostly going to skip the ones I've already seen, so we'll go through them pretty quickly. And we shall name this one... I keep forgetting not to do that. I haven't gotten used to the game yet, it's a bit bizarre to me. Mediocre! Because why not? Oh no, we don't have RPG. We have Medieval. That'll work. Ultima's Medieval, I think, isn't it? Oh wait, there's RPG. There you go. The Mediocre Medieval RPG. On... Hmm. I don't even know what a G64 is supposed to be. These are supposed to be... Uh, they don't use the proper names, Hello Moon, for some of the things. Like, the G64, I don't think it was actually a G64, but I could be mistaken. Obviously, PC is just PC. I don't know what that's a play on. I'm not old enough to even know what it, if that's even actually the name or not, but we'll go with that. Since it has a higher market share. Actually, no. PC market share goes up, so never mind. Is an N64 combined with computers? No, the N64 comes later. Don't worry about it, they got that covered. We shall make it text-based, because I think the first Ultima was text-based. I think it was. Mm. Ultima 1 is old, man. That's an old game. And yes, we're going to make 17 Mediocres and then a Mediocre Online. It'll be great. Game development runs through stages, blah blah blah, you can tell what to focus on. Let's see, engine doesn't really matter. Story and quest is important, because it's text-based. Uh, and then we'll put a little focus on gameplay. I don't, it's a text-based game, so I don't even think we need to focus on the engine. I don't think there's much complexity in a text-based engine, but we'll roll with that and see how that does. This is the first game, so I'd be surprised if we did very well. Game points are divided into design and technology, which will go into your score, and then you get bugs, which you have to remove, and research, which we use to research things. Who knew? Uh, dialogue all the way up. How much artificial intelligence does a text-based RPG need? Or level design, for that matter. Remove that. Kind of do like that. Maybe? Should I put level design? It's a text-based game. I don't understand what level design would even be. You've gone bankrupt because of pirates? Nope. I actually own it, so I'm not going to have that whole pirating problem. We're doing really good on design, not so much on technology. Probably because we didn't really do any technology, but whatever. Details! You can also select additional features. We don't have any additional features. 
sadly. I do have a couple bugs, we can sort those out. Sounds and text base. Whoop to do graphic, don't care. Sounds? Put some focus on sounds. Do text based games have sounds? Could they have sounds? Well, I guess they do, it has basic sounds. It'd be kind of like that. Let's see how well that does. We got some sweet design in this game, gotta say. At least for first game, anyway. Technology sucks, but it's tech text based, so screw you. This, this text based games need beeps and boops. At least the game without fixing bugs, blah blah blah. Basically, to fix bugs, you just wait a little bit afterwards. It doesn't take very long. And then click finish. Never click finish before the bugs are gone, because it'll screw up your game. Your scores, anyway. And then we get experience. Apparently, that's a great combo. You're darn right, it's a great combo. Where's X? There's X. I confused myself. And then you get experience and all the things that are used. The experience you get depends on how much you use it, you know, etc., etc. And then Sleepy gets experience. Hooray! Trash it? No, because I need money. If I made, a, like, it later on, if I have money and I'm making games that I think are going to be garbage, I would probably just go ahead and trash them. Because uh, if you make crappy games, you lose fans. You lose fans, you lose your income. It's a thing. You finish your first game, hooray! And what I'm gonna do is immediately click somewhere and click research. There we go. Because we need to research things, hence try to develop things. Now, if I saved up points, I could create a custom game en engine. But there's no reason to do that because I don't have anything to put in the custom game engine, so... Uh, and we'll grab fantasy. Because who doesn't like fantasy games? And the first reviews for our game, mediocre. Are they mediocre? They're mediocre. Alright. Success. I am pleased with this, quite frankly. It's it's my first game, and it's a text-based game. If I had gotten anything above a 5, I would be astounded. Because I've never had a text-based game do good. Maybe I just suck at making them, I don't know. Just released, released their first game, mediocre. It got mediocre scores. Or moderate, I guess. I was hoping it would actually say mediocre response. It's selling alright. 2700 units. You receive income every week. 19k, mediocre sells. Sales. Great! I'm glad I picked that name. I'm pleased. And I've researched the topic. So now we can make another game, and it'll be a fantasy RPG. And I'll make this one 2D and we'll call it something. I don't know. What would be a good pun on Final Fantasy? Because that's what I was going for there. I was going to do something like not actually Final Fantasy, but that's far too long a name. Hmm. Game did not pay for itself? No, it didn't. <laughs> Half of these games won't. Makes me sad. Let's see. First fantasy? I suppose. What is, what's, uh, switch the first letters, or letters around? So Final Fantasy switched to Final Fantasy? What's a fancier word for first? An ultimate dream. I think I'm going to use that one later. I'll just go with first fantasy. But see, if I do first and I make a bunch of first fantasies, well then they make a bunch of final fantasies, so never mind. <laughs> Ignore that. And it will be 2D, which is more expensive, but technically better. Uh, so we need engine, we need some, some decent gameplay, nothing much, and some good story. That'll be our focus is story again. RPGs, I focus a lot on story, which boosts the design as far as I've noticed. Inception of fantasy? Uh, let's see, good dialogues, not much on AI, some decent level design. Should be good. AI yeah, doesn't need to be much, it's a 2D RPG game. Back in whatever year this technically is. Come along, me. Make a game. Chop chop. It generated 52,962 in sales. Not very good, but hey. 
Uh, decent graphics, good world design, decent sound. Because remember, we are doing a 2D game. I know it's year one, I don't know what year it is. You know what I mean, shush. Because uh, we're doing a 2D game, we need some decent level designs and stuff, I think. In my opinion. This is just me. This one's definitely getting better tech score than the other one. I think it got worse design, though. Might spell the end, except probably not, because it didn't. Or it won't, anyway. I have played to the start of year five. Future reference, that's as far as the demo let me go, and I enjoyed the demo, so here we are with the not demo. You can tell because it doesn't say light version and big in the top right there. My mouse appears to just outright disappear when it turns into a, uh, like the little text input thing, which for whatever reason it's doing over there, I don't know why, it's a bit bizarre. First Fantasy, how you do? S six? It's not bad. You don't go bankrupt due to pirates in this game unless you pirate the game. Good heavens. Learn to read your news. Four? Oh, okay. Fives and sixes? That's not good, but it's better than our last game, so it's an improvement. And now we research again. A new topic. Do sci-fi. Because everyone likes sci-fi. Again, not selling too badly. I think that was actually selling better. And I gained fans! Oh my god! And now we have contracts. Contracts are pretty good. Uh, Total Biscuit did a video on it. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Something about something. I've forgotten now. Good heavens! I've noticed this happens in nearly every game I make. The first month sells good, the second month kind of drops off, but then the third month goes back up, and I have no idea why it does that, but it seems to do it on all of the games I make. And then it will drop like a rock immediately after that. Company record! Yay! Let's make a new game. We shall name this one Trek Wars, because that's what's the first thing I saw. Sci-fi. Um, should it be action? RPG or simulation? Hmm. I think action, well, action RPG, I wish I could combine the two. Release DLC. I haven't gotten far enough in the game for DLC to become a major thing. I think action would be good. So action sci-fi. And we'll go ahead and throw it on a G64. See how well that does. Maybe it'll help me out. I don't know. It costs more, which sucks. So make it 2D, because that's all I can do. And I'm not making a text-based Star Trek action sci-fi thing. That's not going to do very well. Uh, not much on story. Good gameplay. Decent engine. This is an action game. It doesn't need a whole lot of story to keep people occupied. Japanese com company Ninvento. Totally not to play on Nintendo. For Dinky King? Dinky King. Right. I should probably turn the light on. There we go. My god, there's a light! I'm incredibly surprised you actually managed to figure out what this is from there, moving. Oh, do you. Oh, I'll use paint, you say that every time. Whatever. Many doubt that home consoles will take off. Many doubts are idiots. Not a lot on dialogue. Decent level design, decent AI. I'm basically just pretty much adjusting it to how I think that genre tends to be. Genre. Uh, decent sound, decent graphics, decent... Mm, mediocre world design. Let's see how well that goes. Make, some, make sure you invent Subcom. We'll get to that. That came much later, so... We'll have, to, we'll have to wait until I research some more topics and stuff. Good sales on First Fantasy there. Lots of bugs. This one's not going to be very good, sadly. Probably because I'm not very experienced with this. 
I did get a new record on tech, though, and leveled up a bunch of things, so that'll help with the next game. Regardless, now we research. New topic, virtual pet. That's what made Northern Lion rich, let's see if we can do it. My general strategy is to kind of bum rush new topics. Ooh. Ooh. Because the new topics tend to get higher reviews and thus more sales than 10 dogs. Nice, nice scores there. Star Games says my Trek Wars game is very good. Hooray! So we'll see how well that sells. Pretty darn good, gotta say. And then Invento is ready. Now I want to prepare for selling games on that, but I don't want to put a whole lot of money into it yet. Because it doesn't get massive terribly quickly. Rhythm. Might not be a bad one to research at some point. Make a game! We must make more! This one should be called something if I could select the box. There we go. If only Nintendogs didn't exist. Actually, I could make Nin Ninventogs, or however that freaking company's pronounced, for their console. That might be a thing I could do. Uh, do. Uh... Whoops. I hit the alt button there on accident. Pokey Pets can be a virtual pet. It can be an. Uh. RPG. I want RPG action adventure. It won't let me have it though. We'll make it on the G64. Uh, 2D text based. <laughs> text based RPG creature thing. That'd be great. You are. Good job, Decapa. Hey, you Pikachu. I never played Hey, you Pikachu. Apparently it was good, but I never played it. Um. So not much in... We'll kind of do something like that, see how well that goes. As I begin immediately scratching my head. Hello, Patrick and Daniel Klug from Green Art Games. You're welcome, Patrick and Daniel Klug. <laughs> I got a little heart. Yay. There you go. There's my proof. Are you happy? There you go. You're welcome. I do rock. Thank you. Drunk on Green Man Games? Uh, I doubt it. Possibly, I don't know. Their logo is literally a green heart, so... Oof, rather than a green man. As GMG's is. Could be. I don't know. I'm not them, so... You could ask them. They have a website. Uh, let's get some massive AI up on this. Just make... Pokemon with insane AI. Not a lot of level design, some decent dialogue. This game is going poorly, if you haven't noticed so far. The scores so far are kind of garbage. Truck Wars is doing good, though. Let's do that. Suddenly bump up world design, I don't know. Sold 108,000, or generated 108,000, sorry. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go very well. 11 and 8. Although I think we're probably going to be pretty early on the whole... Apparently it wasn't a great combo, though. Maybe that's part of the problem. Hmm. Why is an RPG... That doesn't make any sense. An RPG pet thing, not a great combo. I'm sad. <laughs> it's it's Pokemon, man. Of course it's a great combo. Fools. The game's garbage, but it's a great combo. Give me that crap. Research a new topic. Research rhythm. Actually, let's do racing. I don't know why I don't have racing already, but may as well do that. Meh. Best review ever. Meh. Yeah, see, I lost fans because of that. I don't have enough fans for it to matter, or enough money to just scrap things, so. And there is the tests by Ninvento. Hooray! We can actually make some sweet 2D racing games for the Ninvento. It'll cost a lot of money to get started on it, though, is the problem. 
But if we're early in the uh, jump here... That's stupid. There we go. Selector thingy. Sleep cart. Uh... There we go. We'll make that racing, we will make that action, and we will put it on the test. It'll cost 80k to get a license, and it'll cost 30k to develop for it. But a lot of people have those, so... Veracity for velocity. <laughs> I don't even... What have you done? Now we're poor, but... If we do this right, no story, decent engine, decent gameplay. If <laughs> good lord, movement. If we do this right, we should have quite a bit of money rolling in from it. Uh, good AI, no dialogue, good level design. It's a racing action game. You don't need dialogue, man. Not bad so far. Eight eight, not great, but. The problem is this last stage. They're all they're all so important. Like all of these are important. Maybe we should just even them out. But then we'll just even them out. They're important to every game I ever make, all of them, and it irritates me. Twelve twelve, not bad. That sold for garbage, but whatever. Pokey pets, why are you so bad? Is that it? 12 design, 14 technology. It's not bad. In fact, we got a new record on technology. Great combo? Aww. How is a, a racing action game not a great combo? Come now. Seriously. Racing action game. Great combo. May as well release it. It couldn't possibly do worse than Poke Pets. Watch it do worse than Pokemon. Actually, it's... yeah. I was gonna say it's gonna do pretty well, because I keep seeing, seeing tens popping up on the random numbers there. If you see ten a bunch, that means you're gonna score pretty high, so... Aha! AI has served us well. Straight eights across the board. I am pleased. So that'll earn us some good money, which I'm happy about. Martial arts. By the way, look at the number of topics. There's a lot of them. Should I do a new engine? Let's do a new engine. Because doing this new engine will start locking more research for us for specific things like uh, racing wheels and stuff. Look at those sails roll in. Need for carts. Surgery simulations. I tried that the first time actually. Didn't go very well. Now you can create your own game engine. Hooray! And see, it started unlocking some new stuff for us, like gamepad and stuff. Uh, sadly, these start costing credits, and these go into your game engine development, which costs more money to develop, so that'll be a while before we start doing that, I think. We'll do surgery. We'll do a, a simulation surgery game. How about that? See how it goes. Made me my money back, though. My license fee has been re-earned from Need for Carts over here. Let's make a new game. So we do surgery, we shall do a simulation on... Tess. What shall this game be called? I don't know any... Med school simulator? I don't know of any good pun names for something like a... Did that not create the event? I don't know if it did. If it didn't, well, boo. Either way. Med school simulator? Uh, what is that game called that everyone on YouTube keeps playing because it's silly? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Theme Hospital. Um, hmm. We'll just combine... Is it Surgeon Simulator? Is that what it's called? We'll just combine Roller Coaster Tycoon and Theme, theme Hospital. How about that? 2D, because I don't have 3D yet. And let's it begin! Simulation, don't need any of that. We're going to get major engine development going. Because I need that, yo. It's 
stop scratching your head, me. Design a game, darn it. Not a bad start. No dialogue, don't care. I don't know if a simulation needs AI, but or level design for that matter. Hmm. Hello, Craig. I made games. I did make games, yes. And Steam decided to not make the announcement like a dangus. I don't even know what simulation would need level design or any of that crap for, but whatever. Need for Carts did pretty good. In fact, it made 160,000. It's not bad. Sales numbers expe exceeded expectations. Indeed, I concur. Buy my game! Totally not developing for this console. Uh, don't need world design, just massive graphi graphics and sounds for my surgery simulation game. There you go. Bump it up, go. That looks pretty good to me. We're not gonna get any bonuses here. Oop, one more design. Anything else? Seems to be it. 15 design and 13 technology. Hooray! And it's still not a... Oh, it is a great combo. It's about freaking time it's a great combo. I've been missing out on experience. Because I haven't been getting great combos. I'm seeing some tens. Seven, not bad. Another seven? <laughs> Good lord. Name a game Minecraft and see if it's instantly popular. I am level two indeed. I would like to be level three. I would need to, to research a topic that I could use for that game dev. <laughs> I can make a oh my god, I can make a game about developing games and a game about developing games. What have you done? Why hast thou done this, Greenheart Games? I'm totally gonna do it. A new game. And we will make this the exact same name as the game this is probably based on. On mobile devices. Theme game dev? I'm gonna use this name because it's probably what this is based on, so. Inception. <laughs> uh, what should, simulation, I guess? Game dev simulation? I get on that. I'm curious if that actually has any effect, because that is the name of the mobile version of what is essentially this game. We shall start development. Hooray! This one's a bit more deep than the other one, but you know. Um, don't need any of that. Major gameplay, major engine. This doesn't have any story or quests, so why should my game need any story or quests? Yeah, I know. We'll make a custom engine here at some point. No dialogue. I don't think it needs any AI. <laughs> I don't think it needs any level design either, but we'll roll with this. Specialized games? Oh my god. And I don't know what that was, because I accidentally clicked on the go button. Dangus. Uh, good graphic and sound. Although I have the games muted, so <laughs> that's a thing. I wouldn't say it's story. You can upgrade to an office and hire people, but I wouldn't really say that's a story. 200,000 in sales. Wow. Good job, Hospital Tycoon. Oh, target audience? Thank you, woman. That's actually something I should probably research. As well as some of this stuff, like a steering wheel. And... You know what? Let's actually research a steering wheel, and we'll make another uh, racing game. Great combo? Haha! -ha, great combo! I got some good level ups too. Hooray! That Vina, a Japanese release of home gaming console own, which I will not develop for. And level editor is another one I want to develop as well. Because that seems to massively boost sales on some stuff. How did Game Dev's story do? Not very good, apparently. <laughs> Shouldn't forget about artificial intelligence. It's a it's a game dev simulation game. I don't need artificial intelligence. You silly people. See? Level design, they know what's up. They didn't like the game, but they know what's up. 
Faster than sound and faster than light. We could try that. I don't know what kind of category that would be, but... Also, we're going to make our first game engine as well. Actually, do I want to... Let's see. Let's go ahead and research the level editor as well, and we'll put both of those in the same engine. Just fancy boop sounds, indeed! Name what gravel? And there's the new console from Vina. I'm not going to develop for it, because I'm just going to go for the super tests. Okay, let's do a game engine. Create a custom engine. This is going to be expensive, and uh, I'm going to name it Gravel, because I don't know what he's talking about, so I'll just name the engine that. Oh, the racing game. We could name the engine after the game. Oh, right, and we can get better graphics as well. I forgot about that. We'll just beef this thing out if I can afford to. 140,000 to develop the Gravel engine. Hello, cow. Um, well, that's all I've got, so... Great engine. Huzzah! Creating an engine, blargy blarg, which will take ages, because it has to do this for 90 points of things. As I scratch my head. Chop chop. Don't have all day. I don't know what the point of this car is, since no one ever seems to use it. Also, if you haven't noticed, there's a Pong game on the board back there. It doesn't actually do anything, sadly. I wish it was actually animated. That would be great, but no. It's alright. It's a good reference. I like it. 147? Not too bad, considering the scores. My face! What's my face doing here? <laughs> I wonder how many people I'm losing. How many viewers am I losing due to my face? Achievement. I already got that achievement in the demo, but since I don't transfer. Gravel V1 is now complete. Hooray! And now we can develop a game with Gravel V1. Which we shall call... Well, since I used Gravel, we could name the game Gravel as well. But I, that might, might be confusing. Crusty cheese? Hmm. Well, this is a racing game. Well, I guess we could do faster than sound. Yeah, I got it after a while, Ian. It took me a while, but I got it. Uh, what is the limit on name? Apparently that. Pick topic. Racing. Pick genre. Um, simulation. That's. We'll go with the test again, and we will use the Gravel V1 engine. If it lets me click it. There we go. It'll make 2D V2 graphics! Yeah, it took me ages to get to 2D V2. Usually I get that much earlier, but whatever. Steering wheel, save game, I don't need a story. Who will roll with this? You get to use a racing wheel with this game, it's great! On the test, did the NES actually have any games that had a racing wheel? I know it had the light gun. Do a level editor, good AI. Level editor in a racing game, heck yeah. Especially this early, that should be pretty helpful. Pretty good on technology. Mono sound. Good uh, world design. Decent graphics, decent sound. There we go. Release the sequel right away. What is Vina a joke on? I don't actually know. Master V is the uh, the name of the console. I don't know... I don't remember what that would be. I'm an idiot, apparently, but... Good scores! I like that. That should help at the least. But hopefully it does, it took me all of my money to develop this freaking thing. 19 technology. Take that, technology! Two new records. And a great combo. Yay! And level ups. Yay! Excellent! Better AI, open world. Both of those I want to research. Joystick, not yet. The uh, open world research is great for RPGs, as one might expect. The downside, of course, is I won't be able to use that until I get a new engine built, so... Let's see what we got. Eight, not bad. Make a flight sim. You're darn right, so that's a great combination. 
Great game. Good good job. Good on you. Almost perfect. I'll take that. So that should rake in back at least what the engine development cost, especially considering how many units it just sold in the first month. I've researched open world. Hooray! We shall research a new topic. Startups? I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Superlative Commander. Uh, and we'll probably want to get target audience as well. I don't think target audience actually needs an engine, so I can use that right now. Pirate? We could research pirate. I don't know what kind of pirate RPG, I guess. Fairly new to the game industry. Cannot wait for what they will develop next. Surprise hit with players. Hooray! Research target audience, and we shall research pirates. Pirates, man, pirates! And casual games. We're not going to research that because pirates aren't casual. By God. Village and Rape Simulator 2013. What is that? What was that pirate game that Jeff Major played on his channel? Something, uh. City of Abandoned Ships? Something, something, City of Abandoned Ships? What was that called? You're gonna specify your main target audience. Blargy Blarg. I think that was a game for everyone. Pirates of the Western Atlantic. Good lord, you people. Uh, action or RPG? We'll do RPG on the test, because it maintains superiority for a while, and we use the Gravel V1 engine eventually. There we go. It's a little finicky with clicking on things in certain areas. It's a bit bizarre. I don't know why it does that, but... Hmm. Was it Age of Pirates? City of Abandoned Ships? I think it was Age of Pirates. How... Oh, hold on. No, I can't actually fit. That's a long title on that one, man. Age of Pirates, City of Abandoned Ships. Time of Privateers. I like that one. We'll go with that. There you go. And I think it just barely fits as well, yeah. Just two characters off. Time of Privateers. We will roll with that. Uh, 2D graphics, like a boss. Haha! -ha. See, that's why I normally just keep making PC stuff, because the G64 fails pretty late there. I don't know why it does, but it falls off the chart for whatever reason. Uh, linear story. We're going to focus heavily on story. We don't need a steering wheel for our pirate game, although to be honest, having a pirate RPG with a steering wheel, maybe that would be kind of cool. You could steer your ship. It costs 5k, 5K to do it, though, and... Hmm. Left-handed mouse? What about a left-handed mouse? You mean the guy in the back there? I'm left-handed. I don't have a left-handed mouse, though, but I am left-handed. We'll leave the steering wheel off. He doesn't have a left-handed mouse. What you people on about, yo? Sold $217,000. It sold those dollars. Take that. Do you... I guess <laughs> we'll put a level editor in our pirate RPG. Medium AI. Medium level. I like to focus a lot on dialogue and story for RPG stuff. That probably cripples my RPGs, but I would find that to be true of actual RPGs, so bollocks to it. Ding. Basic sounds, 2D graphics. World design, graphic sound, yeah. Looks fine to me. This has not gotten nearly as high a score as that racing game with a racing wheel. Although, picked up pretty nicely there at the end. And there's the, the game Ling. Not a Game Boy, a Game Ling. 
comes with changeable game cartridges, my god. Monochrome screen on a green background, my god. That would actually be a good system to build a um, pet game on. You need a ceiling fan? I have a ceiling fan. Hooray! Finish. I can't run it on high when I'm streaming or recording because the microphone will pick up the sound, but... Not a great combo, apparently, for whatever reason. I'm astounded by the fact that that's not a great combo. Simple cutscenes and better dialogue. And I don't want to release the racing uh, thing yet. Wait, are there any new topics? Government? Pass on that. At least not until I have some better research and such. Super Sleepy Joe? <laughs> Could. Uh, we'll get better AI. For now, I don't have a lot of money, but that game should go on sale in a moment here. Seeing some good numbers? Good numbers? Really good numbers? Oh my heavens, the numbers. A cover mint simulator. You wouldn't do anything. It would be hilariously named, yes. I think this one might be a 10 as well. Yep. Aha! 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 I'm pleased. If you get a, a game with straight tens, by the way, or multiple tens, you will rake in money. Absolutely rake in money. It's a, it's insane. Uh, so we'll research our government, and I'm gonna use the better AI, and I think better dialogue on this government simulator, assuming I have enough to research the better dialogue just to add some flavor to it. And you can see as we begin raking in money like crazy. 100k units sold! Hooray! Okay, I gave it a 10 saying everyone loves it. Hooray! And we have 2,000 fans now, nearly anyway. Do I have enough to research better... better dialogue? Aha! This is what happened during the demos. I made a game that got tens, and it just rocketed me up. I do not want... It's only 150,000, though. The problem is, if I move, my monthly operating cost goes up. And I don't know if I have consistent income yet, but it's only 150,000. This is the... this is what... Northern Land did is he moved into a new office and basically bankrupted himself very slowly. Um, your interwebs is being poopy? Aww. Hey, I don't know if I want to move. We'll do not yet for now. Kind of keep soaking up some money. Growing audience for video game magazines, and this is good. Because one, we can do marketing, uh, but two, random uh, random uh, interviews will happen, which will massively boost how well your games do. Right, so we'll create an engine. This will be... Politico. So, we don't need a level editor, we'll get better AI. We don't need an open world. And we'll roll with that. 170k to develop this Politico engine. And I am a millionaire. Or I was! Oh, I still am. Okay. <laughs> Ray. This will be our Politico engine, which is basically just an AI engine. That game sold for a long time. 183,000 units, 1.3 million in sales. That's what I'm talking about. Now we just need to get one of those every single game we make, which isn't going to happen, sadly. Did I put a steering wheel? I put a steering wheel in this freaking engine. Uh, Lordy. When I make an engine, I really probably should just make everything in it, but it's cheaper that way. Right. Develop new in, uh, game. This one was... what was the name someone said earlier?
Oh, I can't actually put the full simulator thing on there. We will do this, we will target it to everyone. Although I should probably make it to mature people only. Uh, simulation. Now, it would probably... It'd probably be a bad idea to make it for the gameling, because it's not really a mobile game, so I think we're probably going to end up sticking with the tests for now. We could make it for the PC. Hmm. PC? Make it for the PC. And we'll make it on the Politico engine. The only time I will use this Politico engine, probably. Although it has uh, better AI and better dialogue, so maybe not. I don't know. Either way... We shall focus not on steering wheels, but on the engine, the gameplay, and that can go fairly low. This, this is a simulation after all, so... And it's a government simulator, no less. Yeah, PCs are pretty low on the dev call, so better AI, better dialogue. Uh, good, good dialogue, eh, level design, good AI. And Vena popping back in. The Vena Gear portable console directly compete against the Gameling. And I've seen that before, but again, I don't remember the name. Basically, the full power of the Master V, except you can take it with you. It has a full color screen, except the battery only lasts 30 minutes. So, no, it won't topple Vena. On the PlayStation, no, uh, Sony's not in yet. It was, it, early on it was between Nintendo and obviously one of the company. I can't remember the name of the company, but it was just them basically going back and forth. Was it Sega? It may have been Sega, now that I'm thinking about that. Uh, medium world design, good, good. There you go. Goal hint, quote, quote, quote. Atari? Uh, I don't think it was Atari. Getting good scores here. On my political bickering simulator. I think Atari is a little bit later, a little bit after the uh, Super Tez, Super NES. This music does not fit in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah, Vina Gear, I don't care. Uh, research. Something. Simple cutscenes? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Evolution. Let's get rhythm researched. Because why not? Although I don't think it actually finished political bickering. Chop chop. Apparently I just interrupted the finishing of that slightly. New records and a great combo. Apparently government political simulators are great combos. I level ups though, although we're level 3 on nearly everything now, which is pretty good. Spore? Oh, good point. What are the reviews of political bickering? Not looking too hot? They're not bad. <laughs> Beautiful. Not bad, so should do all right. Uh, and someone said to do a specific thing in evolution, so we'll research that real quick. That was, Spore was kind of an RPG, wasn't it? Or was that more of an action game? I don't remember. I think it may have been more of an action game. Saved up a lot of capital. Blah 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 blah. Uh, we'll move. Probably shouldn't do that, but we'll move. Welcome to your new office! You can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. A management course. Click on your character and bring up the training menu. I'm technically researching. So... I don't think I can actually do it. Until it's done researching. That looks like a blue screen. Should that be a blue screen? Train! Staff management. Game dev, game dev gems. Game design for pirates. Great. I guess 
we'll train in staff management, I suppose. Why not? We have a lot of money soaked up, so hopefully... It's 32000 a month in running costs, apparently. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Click fill position. Oh, I have to advertise it? Oh, my word. Um... Two million budget. We're gonna make a tiny budget. Tiny budget and a, a show reel, I guess. I don't know what any of these would actually do, but sure. We shall search. We shall search for a thing I can't pronounce, apparently. We can always train employees to improve their skills. Yes, I know. Good design. Expensive. Crappy speed. I think. I don't know. That's all I got was two people really good at design. Hmm. This guy has better research. Much better design, less tech. Less technology. Hmm. Slower speed, though, for whatever that's for. We'll go with Caleb here. Caleb colon. That's great. Offering a low salary? Well, yes, but I don't have a lot of money, so... You can see an efficiency bar next to him, fill it slowly over time... Uh, welcome training... Medium games, hey! Oi! Pop-ups! Trying to do things. Govador. Oh, it's a Commodore 64, that's what it is. What that was for. Yes, yes. Recently moved into an office. I know. I'm trying to train the dude. Time of privateers and political bickering. <laughs> oh, heavens. Uh, train. Staff one. Hello! Welcome to the party! Maybe I should research something while he does that. I have to click on my dude now to research, don't I? 213,000 in sales. Not really that good, but research. Something. Holy crap, medium games are expensive. Spy. I'll just wait for that guy to finish and we'll make a game with him. See how it goes. Although he's not fully efficient, but then again, neither am I. Bollocks to it. We'll make a game. I don't know what we're gonna make, though. Oh, yeah, Spore. That's right. Uh, Action Evolution. Sure. We will make it on the game link. We'll make a mobile version of Spore. How about that? Beige PCs. Greatest PC ever. Make it on the Politico engine, because I think that would actually fit this pretty well. So what would we call it? Someone said something earlier that I liked. Seed thing. There you go. We'll make that for everybody, because it's an everybody game. It's still 2D. We haven't gotten to 3D yet. Last time I got to 3D before I even moved, so... Don't need much story. I don't think I need much engine either, though. Look at them classic PCs, man. Look at them. They're classic. They even have blue screens. They're great. Good AI, mediocre dialogue, good level design. You guys know the drill by now. Hopefully this game makes me a lot of money. I'm not getting a whole lot of score here. We'll do that. Not getting a whole lot of score, Mr. Caleb Colon. What is his name? Mr. Colon, whatever his name is. I do finish games faster by the looks of it, but I don't think the score is any higher. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. I know, I've seen you type that 27 times, Dr. Cheel. Cheel. Don't research something again. You guys know the drill. Although now we can 
Now we can research multiple things at the same time, so that's a bonus. This is gonna get fairly mediocre scores, sadly. Shows potential. I need... I need, uh, really good games. By the way, I don't have sequels researched, so I can't technically do a sequel, proper sequel. I don't know if I need to wait for that or what. But the problem is I need to make good games because I am hemorrhaging money, which is the same problem Northern Lion had. Um... grab that, and then we'll have him research something as well. Probably marketing. I can't research that. Is he helping with the research, or what's going on here? Can I only research one thing? I guess I can only research one thing. Whatever. That's what they said about Dead Island. Don't even mention that game. Chosen platform's not very good with the audience. Oh, darn. Research. Marketing. Marketing. I appear to be unable to research marketing for any reason whatsoever. Hmm. Make an FTP game? I don't know what an FTP game is. We will make a... Mature fantasy RPG, because that makes perfect sense. A oh, free-to-play. I don't know if I can do that. I can't do it right now. File transfer protocol game? <laughs> don't think that's right. We'll slap it on the PC. Uh, using the Politico engine. And this will be... Next, 2D V2. Mediocre one was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, text-based. So, good quests. Or sorry, story. Engine doesn't really matter. T was closer than two. I suppose it would be. Planet to GG. I am developing a game for mature audiences. Yes. It's called Mediocre Two. Eventually, I'll make Mediocre Online! And because we got an interview, we'll get some hype here in a moment. Uh, which will help our sales. Good dialogue, decent level design, decent AI. Actually, I think good AI might be a good idea. I'm pushing game design pretty heavily here. According to an interview, company's working on a thing. Sleepy, owner, of C owner and CEO of Sleepy's Games. I am willing to take a risk, yes. Indeed. I'm curious to see how the market reacts to this. Hype level 4, not very much. Call it Leap Toad? Good heavens. It's essential to build hype, yeah, 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 blah, blah. I can't actually build hype. It'll build naturally from the uh, interview. But I have no way of influencing it right now, so. World design. Kind of medium sounds and graphic should be fun. Start building hype, release game 15 years later. I don't know when the hype actually stops going up. I'm sure it does. But, you know. We've got some good scores here, so. And it keeps adding to it for whatever reason. 300k in sales? Not terrible. Are we done? Okay. I think it's done. Look at that score on gameplay there. Design, whatever it is. Trend match? That's the first time I've seen that. Is there some sort of RPG trend going on? On PC here? And now we've got our first level of 3D Grex, finally. It's about dang time. Looking good. Looking pretty heavy in the 10 range there. If I get straight 10s, we're going to be loaded with so much money, and it's looking that way so far. Mediocre 2, just like just like its namesake. Aww, all games, aww. Combo Breaker. Just like Ultima, 
getting some great scores. I keep forgetting it to click on people to research, man. 3D graphics, start. 2D graphics, V3. He can't seem to research... many things. What's up with that? Can I only... I don't know what's going on with that. It's a bit bizarre. Your suit's gamepad. Still can't research marketing. I don't understand what's going on there. A little bit of a bug. Set a new standard. Look at the sales. I think I broke it because it stopped. Look at the sales on the second week. Holy crap. Make a hacking simulation game? Try that. Oops. Research hacking. Look at the sales, man. Security upgrades in our office. Um. Oh, speak. Oh, right. I'm not even paying attention to how many research points I have. I'm being an idiot. Apologies about that. Thank you, Logo. Just being a doofus. I may as well invest in that. Why not? Go for it, Mr. Colonel. Colin. Colin. Whatever your name is. Storm of good views and excited customers. Hooray! Look at those sales, man. Steal all the code. <laughs> Still going up. New gaming console. Sega Genesis. I know what that is. I'm on to your nonsense game. It will be the Genesis of a new generation. See what they did there. You'll release Mediocre 3. No. May as well make a new engine here. Bump up the, uh, just put everything in it. Bollocks to it. Ultima. I have the money. Let's make Ultima. I've been making Mediocre. Let's make Ultima engine. 2 and 3D graphics. I put both of them in there solely for the purpose of... I should make a GTA. Solely for the purpose of just having an engine that can do anything. 3.2 million in sales on a game developed for the PC before the Super Nintendo even came out. That is some serious income right there. And that was, that was the mature audience as well. Although I appear to have a strong... Well, I don't know what this is. Does that mean if I make mature games, they'll do well right now, or what? Or is that the majority of my fans? So I should keep focusing on mature games. I don't know. It's the first time I've actually had the ability to pick, so... Make the Unreal Engine, which have physics. Havoc has better physics. It's By better, I mean more hilarious, so... We'll totally go with that. I guess I'll just keep making mature games? Uh, hacking simulation? I don't know how you make a mature hacking simulation game, but whatever. Put it on PC. That has a tiny market share, though. Comparatively, anyway. Hmm. In Havoc, you can't give people? What does giving people have to do with physics? I am assuming so, yes, Ian. Should I put it on the Oasis? 100k license fee and 50k development cost. For a slightly high... It's not going to do good on the game link. I can pretty much tell you that right now. I don't know if it would do good on the consoles either, though. I will stick it on the PC. We will throw it on the Ultima Engine. Hooray! Why not? Oasis. Should I? Mm. I'm not sold on this whole console thing. We'll go with it. Uh, we will make this... To be honest, it could be text-based. It's a freaking hacking simulation game. We're gonna make a text-based hacking simulation game on the Genesis. Like a boss. Uh, massive engine. 
simple cutscenes in a text-based game. Sure, why not? Good gameplay, mediocre story, good engine. Roll with this. See how well my text-based game goes here. Oh, I didn't name it. No, I forgot to name it. Curses. Uh, <laughs> level editor. Why not? Keep decent dialogue in there. Mostly good AI. It's a hacking game. You gotta have good AI, man. You can tell that employees need a rest. Apparently, yeah, apparently this guy needs a vacation soon. Well, screw you, colon, screw you. I don't need Joe crap. Open world hacking simulator with simple cutscenes. That just sounds, sure. <laughs> None of this makes any sense, but whatever. The name's ironic. The hell? <laughs> this game's Onyx. What? We still got some really good scores here for design and tech, but I don't know why, quite frankly. We, no? Not done adding things? Still adding things? I think they're done. New record on uh, tech there. And it's a great combo, so good experience gains. Level 4 on some pretty important stuff there, and I'm almost level 4. Character progression, stereo sound, ooh. Getting advanced here, aren't we? Let's go ahead and research marketing before I screw that up again. Crappy scores, probably because it's a text-based game on a console, but... Bollocks to it. <laughs> it's my text-based hacking simulator, get off my game develop game reviewers. See, all games knows what's up. They know what's up. These other people don't know what they're doing. Research. Uh, marketing. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this guy on vacation for a while. Apparently not for very long, but... Go ahead and send him on vacation. So, I don't like marketing in the action menu, but only while a game is in development. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. That's also not what I wanted to do. Oh, the market has normalized again. Okay. So that's what that thing up there was. So mature games were seriously popular then. Which is probably why it sold as, sold as much as it did. Sold! Ooh, that's expensive. I just realized. Stereo sound we can't get. Medium games we could get. We should get a new topic. Cyberpunk? We'll get a joystick. Why not? We'll work that into a simulation game later at some point. I could get another minion. Should we get another minion? We've got some good money, so... Staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. Cough, cough. Uh... Complex algorithms. Make better RPGs. That don't worry, that character progression will be going into my mediocre series. Don't be worrying about that. No more budget for now. Mouse? Computers come with a mouse. Why do I need to research them? Why do I need to research a gamepad? That's a good point. So these people are gonna be heavy technology. Which of these they're cheap. Wow, they're super cheap. This guy's better at everything except for design, but I'm not hiring this guy for design, so... Go ahead and grab Delgado here. How you doing, Delgado? He's... needs to be trained. I forgot about that. I was wondering why his bar was so low. Why is everyone's bar so low? Good heavens! Don't drink coffee? Who said you can drink coffee? sold basically nothing, but whatever. None of these people are at peak efficiency, but I need to make a game, so... I should train people. I probably should do that more often. Make a game for everyone. We will make... a racing game. We will make a simulation racing game. Again, because why not? And we'll slap it on the Oasis the Ultima Engine, because Ultima Engine's the best engine! 
make a murder simulator spelled with a C. Uh, this will be our first 3D game, I think. Let's see how horribly that goes. Hello. Yeah, contracts. I haven't even done any contracts yet. I find them mostly pointless, so I'll just leave all that in. As it is, I guess. Why not? Name! I forgot the name again! Oh well. Contracts are things you can do uh, when you're not developing games to earn money. Basically, it's more or less a guaranteed source of money, so... Level design... Flesh Surprise? That sounds like a splendid game! Come on, dude, I hired for technology. Bump up that tech. Hmm, this is our first 3D game. Maybe I should focus a little heavily on graphics rather than sound. I'll show you the contracts after this one, but I normally don't need to do them, so... Looking decent so far. And we're adding bugs to it, despite the fact we're not actually developing. Good job. Are you guys done? Agree to be done. Splendid day! We got basically no experience. Because it's neither new nor anything else, sadly. Although I leveled up, so bollocks to everyone else. Multiplayer, AI companions, oh god. Now I can make games about escorting people. L reviews are looking pretty bad. In fact, it's possible we may get some ones here. Well done, game number 14. Well done. I don't know why it did so poorly, but gosh darn it, it did. And there's the super tests. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super Test. Escort mission, the game. <laughs> there is a game about escorting. It's a garbage game. I think it's called Annie. Or something along those lines. This is going to sell for nothing. Oh, lordy. Gots to make a good game. Make a virtual pet game. Adventure. And we'll put it on that. And maybe it'll do well. And we'll actually name it something. Mature Virtual Pet Game. Hmm! Actually, I'm gonna put it on Young, just to see if that actually makes something like this sell better. What would it... Let's see, I already have Poke Pets. Northern Lion already took the... Tamagotchi approach. I think, what did he call it? Tamagotchi? Or something like that? I don't remember. Tiji pets. Virtual pal. I wish we had a virtual boy I could put virtual pal on. Virtue pal or virtua pal? I'm gonna do virtua. Roll with that. We will make it 3D. Actually, we'll make it 2D. It's on a handheld game. Let's make it 2D. 2D version? Ooh. That game's gonna lose us money like crazy. I wonder how well things would do if I just balanced everything for every game I developed. That'd be kind of boring, but I wonder how well it would do. Uh, we don't need a lot of dialogue, we don't need a lot of level design. We do need a lot of AI, though, because it's a virtual pet game. Did I leave Racing Wheel on? Probably. Virtual pet games, now with racing wheels. Open world, yes please. Kind of focus on sound and world a little bit. There we go. Play, play your virtual pet game with a racing wheel on your mobile Game Boy device. Makes perfect sense. Stop adding bugs, dude. Stop it. Development's over. Stop adding bugs. I swear. And I'm gonna start developing for that 
pretty heavily here. In fact, we're gonna probably make Ultima 3 or Mediocre. Stop. Stop it. Sold nothing. Hooray! Are you guys done adding bugs to the game? Thank you. A new combo? Got some level ups. Hooray! Day and night cycle for my virtual pet game. Let's research some stuff. And you know what I keep forgetting is marketing, actually. Uh, we'll get character progression because we're gonna make an RPG again. <laughs> this one's gonna sell nothing as well. Bad. Hooray! My Virtua Pet game is horrible. I'm saddened. Can you tell? I like how Informed Gamer appears to be the highest rating. Oh no, they gave it four as well, and their rating is meh. Meh! That's just what I think of your game. Meh. Uh, and we're actually gonna add AI... never mind. A day-night cycle. I was gonna say AI companions to this uh, mediocre game as well. Oh, and there's a strong audience for Mature. Great! Right when I make a game for young people, that's garbage. A strong audience for Mature comes along. Well, you know what we're making? And a, a Mature RPG. So, bollocks to you. Do I need to make a new engine for this stuff? I do. I don't know why I need a joystick in it, but I may as well make the Ultima 2. That's going to take them ages, and we're going to be hemorrhaging money like crazy while during this process. Hire a new maggot. I think we're good on people for now. We're going to... These people are expensive to pay, so, and we're hemorrhaging fans as well. Vonnie, Sony, haha, <laughs> Sony's in on it now. The play system, that's pretty obvious there. I figured it, I figured it out with Vonnie, who's been known for electronics. Uh, collaborated with Ninvento. A super test with a CD drive. First console using a CD drive. Uh... Apparently things turned sour immediately after that. Cancel the projects. Hmm. It's not the end of the play system, for those of you who don't know history. Hardcore PS2, heck yeah. Hardcore PS2 every day, all day. Pop. Ultima V2 is complete. I would like to make my new mediocre game on medieval fantasy. Or is what it is Ultima technically medieval or fantasy? We'll go ahead and make this on the super tests because why not? Sure. Uh, Ultima V2. Let's maybe click on it. Can't, I can't remember if it would be considered medieval or fantasy. I think it's technically medieval fantasy RPG, but... Hmm. This is expensive to develop, good heavens. Plus, this isn't even counting all the add-on crap we're gonna slap into it. We'll go medieval. We'll go with fantasy. <laughs> Despite the fact of what we just said, but whatever. So it will be 2D V2, because it's Ultima, and I don't think Ultima was ever 3D. Character progression. No steering wheel, no joystick. Lots of story, mediocre engine. You know the system by now. And we are going to market this. We're going to market the crap out of Mediocre 3. Hundred fifty K, five hundred K. We'll go with the magazines and demos. Let's do that. Test is going off the market because we have the super test and it's completely and utterly pointless to even have the original. Good AI, good dialogue, decent level design. Like how I keep putting level editors in like my open world RPGs. Because maybe that's helping, I don't know. 
spend two mil on marketing. I don't have two mil because I'm hemorrhaging money. Oh no! Uh, no one bought the game, so I don't see why I need to patch it. <laughs> I don't see how that's helpful. Day-night cycle. Yes, please. World designs up. Hype level 9, level 10, level 11. I don't know how high that goes, but it's going pretty darn high. There's a lot of bugs in this. People will love me for caring? Possibly. We'll patch it after I'm finished with this. Of course it's normalized immediately before I sell this stupid game. Hate you. Total of 5 million in earnings. As Skyrim music comes on. Let us release. Hype level 11. <laughs> New record. Not a lot of experience, but two levels up, so... So far, anyway. Click. Ooh, and Mr. Colon has leveled up. Hooray. This game is on the iPhone only? Well, technically... Is this game even on the iPhone only? I know there's a game dev story. It's the mobile game. I didn't know this was on the... It does have swiping feature thing. Salary increase. Branching story, dialogue trees, these are things that would be helpful in my mediocre series. Oh, chill. I was just about to do it, but no, you all had to complain. Also, hello, Razor. Why they couldn't wait another week for me to patch the stupid thing. This one's not doing as well as the previous mediocres, that's a bad sign. Because I kind of need money. Please. Por favor. Not bad scores, though, so... Plus, the marketing should help. It's not helping as much as I want it to. We need to do some researching on new topics, I think. And get to the front lines of new topicry, I think. We're just, I'm just going to research all of the topics and see if I can make... Well, there's a hospital right there. A hospital sim could be made. Let's see if I can get some stuff. Chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. What did I put it on? Oh, I put it on a Super Test, not the PC. Get Angus? Where can you download this game? This is at greenheartgames.com. Is it Greenheart Games? Hold on a moment. It is greenheartgames.com, yes. That is where you can purchase a said game. There's a demo there as well. That's not what I wanted to do. Make a new game. We'll make a hospital simulation on the PC. Everything's better on the PC. Korean Heart Games? No, Green Heart Games. G R E E N. As in the color. Uh, and we'll make this on the Ultimate B2, because why not? We'll make this for everyone, despite the fact that it was a mature-ish game. Release a modding kit thingy? Well, I haven't released a modding kit thingy. I don't have the ability to release a modding kit thingy. I don't think we need character progression in the gameplay. We'll kind of do it like that. Mostly gameplay focus. It's a simulation, after all. I don't even know if there's a point in the game where you can release a... This game's gonna be garbage, because these guys need to go on vacation, sadly. Poorly timed game is poorly timed. Don't need dialogue, decent level design. Why not? So sadly I'm down two crew and have to make this game solo, like the old days when I was in my garage. I don't know if we need a day-night circle or an open world. Leave the day-night circle on. World design, decent sounds. Actually, we'll kind of even those out like that. Why not? Game dev story and tycoon? Uh, well, you can see the difference. One, they're different developers. Uh, two, this one is much more deep than game dev story. It's also much more difficult. Game dev story is too easy. I'm only, this is just the second office. Also, if you haven't noticed, I just noticed this as well. 
Uh, they've got the Space Invader dude over there. Chillaxing on the window. Just gonna go ahead and let my dude bump it up a little, apparently. Right, we need something to sell well, please. Por favor. Great combo, that's a good start. At least we'll get some good experience off it. So I stopped sucking so much. Possibly, probably not. I didn't market this at all, so... I'm going entirely off review scores here, which aren't going to be very well. Crap. I think I may have doomed myself by expanding to this office. We'll do a game demo. We'll up the budget a little bit. Let's just see what's what. Um, game for everyone. We'll make a... Rhythm game? An action rhythm game? There's nothing that would actually fit that, though. A spy game? We can make a spy game. A spy action game or a spy simulation game? Kill the reviewers. Do I play any other games? Yes. I have a YouTube channel where I play a lot of things. I also play a lot of things here. Action? Go action. Um, and we'll throw this on the Super Tess. The Ultima V2 engine. And we shall call this. I don't know any really old spy games, though. Hmm. Maobi? Maobi! I'd... other than... well, I don't really know any spy games, to be honest. Spy Mania? Sure, why not? There you go. Except I spelt it wrong. You dangus! Uh... I don't have a genre, for some reasons. A genre, as it's called. We'll leave it on 3D graphics, despite the fact I suck at 3D graphics. So this is an action game. Get character progression, because why the heck not? Decent engine, decent gameplay, not much on the story. <laughs> the movement, your names are hilariously. Are hilarious. You suck, and quite frankly, so do you. But you're both cheap. 32-226. We'll take you, whoever you are, and then train you with a welcome. Hooray! Need some good design in her? We do. We need some good everything. Better dialogue! Good AI! Decent level design. It's a spy game. The AI needs to be pretty beefy here, I think. In my opinion, anyway. I'd probably do need to give more training. We've followed your progress. I'd like to send this formal invitation to Games Games Games, also known as E3. <laughs> or G3, sorry. Okay, apparently I've got an invitation to G3 now. Uh, world design can go down. We'll kind of even every- we'll just even everything out, how about that? On that. Open world. Mono sound, because I haven't researched stereo sound, because I'm doofus. Hopefully this game does well-ish. Either way, I think I'm going to do a little bit of training and let these guys rest up, get optimal and stuff. Also, someone's mowing, so apologies if you guys can hear the mower. You probably hear it when it goes by the wall, at which point I'll probably try to mute it. 233 in sales. Not horrid, but not very good either. High schoolers are stupid. Let's just let's be honest. So they give a lot of hate to everybody. Level up. And our 3D graphics leveled up, so we can get 3D V2, I think. We should have been able to, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, let's give some training to some people here. Yeah, yeah, world-class team, dirt training, blarg. Does it tell me what these do, or...? Mature audience. 
Um, I don't know what these do. I'm confused. Shows potential? Well, your review score doesn't show potential, sadly. Spy and action is a great combo. I'm just not very good at making games, apparently, anymore. It's this second office, man. The first office I do great at. Second office, not so much. Make me think. I don't know what any of this stuff does, but... Not research. Although maybe I should research some stuff. So, research going up, design, tech... Okay, well, I just boost everyone's everything. How about that? First office has training wheels. It's possible. Uh, we'll get a small booth. We're not developing anything, so that's probably a giant waste of money. But we'll get a small booth. Maybe it'll boost Spy Mania sell sales. I don't know. Sell sales. Burp, burps. Training's expensive. But if I don't train... Hmm... Hey, we've got a proposition! I've seen these before. Hello, Dutchie. You're the reason I'm playing this. Why were you not here, you dangus? Uh, if you want to play war games, I like war games. That's a third of my money, but sure. Uh, don't have any idea what we got for that, but sure. They are, in fact, making another Call of Duty game. I have no idea why. Well, I do know why, it's because people keep buying it, but they are, in fact, making another Call of Duty, yes. Lots of fans. Or lots of people showed up, that's a thing. So everyone's optimal, everyone's ready to go on game developing. I know, I might want to make a game. That's a pretty big issue here. Oh, that's what I did. Industrial sabotage! Police are investigating. Totally wasn't me. Had nothing to do with that. Sequels. Which I'll research if I can make a decent freaking game. Make a mature fantasy RPG again. On the PC. Ultima V2. Mediocre 4. Spy MMO intro. Good heavens, man. Good heavens. Next. Uh, 3D graphics. I really need to bump up my research and everything else, quite frankly. See you, cow. Uh, good story, decent gameplay, decent engine. Haven't varied this formula since I started, I don't think. Bank account's in the red. Uh, if it goes below 200,000, I'll be bankrupt. That's gonna be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Because it costs me, like, half of that just to survive a month. Good dialogue. Medium AI. Come on, man! I need a game! You're costing me money. Oh my heavens. I can't last another month. Sell your employees' organs. I cannot last another month. Which, it looks like it's gonna force me to last another month unless I rush the development. What happens if I go under 200k? Uh, we will give you 502,000... Uh, what happens if I go bankrupt? I don't remember. Take the 70k cotton run. Uh, give me 502, but I have to pay a million in a year. You lose? Yeah, I figured. May as well try. Go ahead and put some of that money to some basic marketing here. Bump up the hype a little bit. While they continue adding points to stuff. Market is normalized. 
play systems out finally, right before I release a game on PC. Probably gonna lose after a year, yeah. What else is new? New record on that, though. Gameplay. Maybe this will be the hit game I need? Possibly. Maybe. Hmm. Am I getting the new Call of Duty? No! Not in the slightest. Especially since I'm pretty sure they'll charge you 60 bucks for it. Oop! Seeing tens! Seeing lots of tens! This is what I need! Come on, review industry people. Oh, come on, Game Hero. Come on. Come on. I need tens. Tens. All of the tens. Not what I was hoping for, but at least it's selling something. Johnny the Fishmongers has the freshest fish. It's good, good money. So far, I need to do another one of those. In fact, let's... How much does sequels cost? A lot. We'll try it. Maybe we can make a sequel, finally. Modern Warfare 2 is the last one I got, yes. Make a new engine won't help because I haven't researched anything I can put in the engine as far as I'm aware. Sequels are done. Is there anything I could research to put in there? I have 28 multiplayer. Let's do that. Maybe we can make Ultima Online. How about that? See how well Ultima Online goes. What are my PC specs? You could check the website for that, otherwise, uh, not a whole slot to special. I am gonna have to make a new engine for this. I think I'm gonna make a cheap engine if possible. So 3D, mono sound, no linear story. But linear story technically adds to it? I don't know. Multiplayer. No, yeah, save game. No joystick, no steering wheel, no level editor. 280,000 to make this. Oh my word. Ultima Online, you must save me. I didn't name the engine, you fool. Game engine number five is apparently what's going to power Ultima Online. Slash channel slash random characters. What's up with that? Is that my channel or is that the other channel? Which is also linked on the website. Engines completes. Let's develop a new game. It will be mediocre online. Shall be fantasy RPG on the PC, despite the fact it has a massive sinking market share. Actually, PC keeps its market share pretty well. Okay. This will be for everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone can post links. Should be able to, anyway. 3D V1! Save me! Save me from my bankruptcy multiplayer. Thank you. See, I left out linear stories because I'm making technically an MMO. In my mind, it's probably not technically an MMO. Uh, so, how much would linear stories actually help? Does it help when you're making this kind of thing? I get hype just for making a game, apparently. Uh, open world, yeah. Not doing too good on design and technology scores, but they tend to bump up drastically at the end here, so... They didn't bump up all that drastically. Hmm. And I have negative cash again. Sounds about right. I don't think I'm going to come out of this whole bankruptcy thing still alive. One hype, like a boss. This is going poorly. I, can't, I don't have any money. I'm going to go bankrupt in a month here. Come on, game reviews. Nope, I'm bankrupt. GG game, GG. Are my people tired? Was that what's going on there? I didn't even notice. Yep, there's nothing I can do, so they are tired. That was what's going on there. 
GG game. Oops. Oops. Stop clicking. Time to just wait the month out. This is a sad day. Dink. Required to pay us back in a million in three months' time. Yeah. I can totally do that. Let me hook you up with that. We just magic some money out of my pocket. Mediocre online, why you no know do properly? Then again, Ultima Online's free to play, so I'm not sure what I was expecting to do there. Unfortunately, you are bankrupt. Sad face. Electronic Mass Productions, a behemoth in the gaming industry, has purchased the remains of the company. Hearing this news, many fans have expressed their disappointment. Got the Lotus Save game, which I don't have. Restart this level or restart a new game? Restart level? I had 3 mil when I had mil minions. I didn't have 3 mil shortly after that. What does restarting the level do? Oh, it puts me back here. Is that kind of cheating? This is kind of cheating. Roll with it. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something, and I have no idea what he's doing. And apparently political bickering is selling now. <laughs> Hooray! Back to political bickering. I missed you. Oh, evolution. That's what he's researching. Let's train you. Let's make you the best ever. Does he have stra I assume he has staff management. Let's go crazy and start training. It's going to be very boring. Very, very slow. This place is too expensive. I seriously think you need to move here much later than I often get forced to move here. Well, not forced, but... Yeah, yeah, Commodore failed. Whatever. Does it come with Microsoft games when you install Windows? Uh, well, every Windows has games on it. I don't know what you mean by Microsoft games, but it has stuff like Minesweeper. Burn it to the crown for insurance money. Hmm. Oh, no. No. I could always do contract work when I'm seriously in need of money, but... See, I don't need these do. Like, what does... What does Don't Repeat Yourself do? Speed. What does speed do, though? Hmm. How do you tell the difference between the default programs and the ones you've installed? Well, hopefully you should know what you've installed. I like to create partitions. Partitions are great, like we think. What do I mean by partitions? That. I only have one SSD and one HDD, but I have technically three hard drives as far as Windows cares. It's magical. Except not really, but whatever. Although you'd have to do start from scratch on a hard drive to get partition. So that's not really an option for someone who's already installed. What was that training him in? I don't know. Code impl un incomplete gives tech, I think, doesn't it? That would make sense. It does give tech, okay. These are such small increases. How much... HDD is hard disk drive, not HHD, HDD. Silly. These are such small increases, I'm curious how much this actually helps. I mean, your score is much drastically higher than people you can hire for cheap, anyway, so... We may as well try and make a game here. We should vote for everybody, we should make a... Hmm. Can you delete program files x86? Sure you can! Sure you can. Um, hmm. 
medieval. St I don't think I can do. Oh, I can do strategy. I keep forgetting. I haven't done any strategy games. I don't know which of those is better because I don't remember. Um. There you go. Tech support stream indeed. Everything's a tech support stream. If you're starting over, you don't need anything in anywhere, because you're just going to wipe your hard drive anyway. You, sir, are odd. You're an odd one. Don't need much story. Everything else is good. Not sure what Razor's on about. Or if he's serious. If he is serious, by God. How do people operate computers? Don't need a lot of dialogue. Decent level descent. Rome Total Peace? <laughs> That's a good name, actually. Uh, I think we're just gonna even everything out on this one. I've got a lot of viewers, and I don't know why I have a lot of viewers, or where they are, or what they're doing. They're watching me play this game badly. Apparently me playing games badly attracts people. It's a thing I should keep in mind, I guess. Finish. Clearly because I'm awesome. We got a proposition already. How do you wipe your hard drive without deleting the operating system? You can't. Unless you plan on manually deleting stuff off of it, but you still can't make a partition without having a clean hard drive, which means everything off of the hard drive, including the operating system. Random viewers out of nowhere. By God, they're everywhere. Borrow some research. So 26k for some research from Agent Blowfish. Research spot. I don't think that was actually worth 26,000, but whatever. Since that's not that high up the topic tree. If it was something like way down the topic tree, that would totally be worth it, because that'll break in cash. Let's do some contract work, since I forgot to actually show you that earlier. Moths around a candle. I don't need the tutorial thing, man. So this is uh, your contracts. These are small contracts. You have a certain time to get a certain quantity of uh, things. Technology and design. Uh, you'll get paid a certain amount. If you fail, you'll be penalized a certain amount. So that's generally how that works. Might as well just take this one. Pretty. These, these contracts are relatively easy to do, so there's not much risk. Oh, come on now. The first game I make is immediately this good after the failure that was the first time. Really? Really. Oh, what a... <laughs> Ever flitch boat game? They release a new console, doesn't matter because I'm about to be loaded. Look at it go! No marketing at all. Sigh. Only just barely got that contract, actually. So They're worth basically nothing. But they're there if you need some money. Too stupid to make sequels. Strategy of Medieval is great selling. That technically depends... How well it sells depends on a lot of things. Not just the correlation between two things, because I've had I've had great combos that sell poorly. Help! I need money. Basically, just gonna wait for that to finish. Is there anything I can research that I would want? Well, obviously. Uh, what about topics? Maybe I can burst down the topic tree relatively quickly here and get an interesting topic. New platform, hooray! This thing's selling for a long time. Just thought I'd point that out. Selling for real. Ooh, romance! That's a good topic. I need some money to love. 3.16 million. Okay, let's make a romance game, because why not? 
We'll make a romance. We'll make it... Uh, that, I don't think any of these actually fit. Mature romance game. <laughs> I don't... Oh, dearie me. Simulation? A mature romance simulation? Or an action? Hmm. Action romance game. I don't know if any of these would actually fit a romance game. I'll go with action, because this is all just straight hilarious regardless. Politico. Oh. It was going to be Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but that doesn't actually fit, so we'll just go with Romance of the Three, which is possibly worse. We'll roll with it. 2D. Fantastic. This all makes perfect sense. This all... of oh, steering wheel! <laughs> this game needs a steering wheel. That is what this game needs. Does it need story? Does it need a lot of story? All about that gameplay, yo. All about that gameplay. Call of Duty. Yes, that is. Steve O'Connell. I'll give you an interview about my romance action game. Sure. This, this just doesn't... Better AI. Yes, please. Dialogue through the roof. No. AI. Level design. Sure. None of this makes any sense, so I'm just kind of rolling with it. I can't believe they actually interviewed us on this, of all possible things. Build hype, yeah, yeah, I've already seen this tutorial. I know how it goes. Not getting good uh, stuff here. <laughs> Just saying. World design, don't care. All about that graphic and sound. Don't think we need any world design on this kind of game. Just saying. Now we gotta get rid of those bugs? Bug testing on this. Lordy. Getting some sweet hype, which is either a good thing or a bad thing for humanity. I'm gonna go with it's a bad thing. Oh my god, it's actually trending toward action games as well. <laughs> Watch this give me like 3 million in earnings, despite the fact it shouldn't possibly give me that much. This game's garbage, and it's gonna earn me money. Oh, what have I done? The <laughs> first porno game creator. Romance of the Three came in. It's looking like mediums. Yeah, medium scores. I knew it wasn't going to two very well, but jeez. My cup is drier than the Sahara Falls. Fun at stages. Good point. How well is this going to do? Not very, but surprisingly better than what I was expecting. Although I guess that's not terribly surprising. Let's keep training. Let's just keep going crazy on the training here. Boost myself up like crazy. I bet you do like it all games. See, these just add such... they're only adding, like, 1% per tick here. Or less, which doesn't seem like it would have much of an, an influence on anything, really. But I'll keep adding to it, maybe it, it does have a lot. I don't know, maybe we can make more action romance games? Based on Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Except not being able to fit kingdoms in there, so now it's just a three-way action romance game? Make horror action? I don't think I have horror researched yet. Sold 200 or made 200,000 in sales. Good heavens. Romance of the Four. <laughs> what? Hold on. Do I have horror? Uh, I don't have horror yet. Probably should research some more stuff, but I want to train! Train! That's the train. Does anyone, does anyone here, since there's more people here, know what uh, speed does? Is that how frequently they get the little ball things? The design and technology points, or whatever? 
It's always possible. I don't know, I don't know what they do, so... And the training appears to be decreasing in efficiency. Or maybe that's just me because I wasn't paying attention. Game design for pirates. You like train? Z or train? Just one train? The better your speed, the faster programming goes. Well, hmm. I guess that would be good to have. I'm kind of focusing on just getting design and technology up at this moment. Which it appears game design for pirates is really good for design. Who knew? Moomin, sometimes I worry about your sanity. Or snuffles for people who don't know who Moomin actually is. See you, Moomin. I assume, I don't remember, I think you were getting tea or something. Whatever. No, not research. Train! Trains! Trains for all. I don't know what staff management does. That gives speed, I know that much. So we'll get some speed in there. Also this music. What's up with this music, man? This music makes no sense. You no comprende. And my neck's switching. My god. Moomin's never sane, but sometimes I like to think he is. I don't know. I have plenty of money to just sit here and train for quite some time, so... No particular strong trends. Hey, wait a second. I like the animations that the people do. They're very basic animations, but I still like them nonetheless. Like, he'll pick up his little notepad and jot down some stuff. I don't know what he's actually jotting down, because I can't see it, because as far as I'm aware, you can't zoom in. At least as far as I'm aware, anyway, you can't zoom in. Can you draw on the board? Probably not. I wish you could draw on the board. Then it'd turn into Duke Nukem Forever with people drawing magnificent things on the drawing board. What will consoles be like today? They'll be like today. I think it actually goes a little bit ahead. I'm not sure, obviously I haven't gotten that far, this is the farthest I've gotten, but... No, develop. Uh, I believe it goes a little bit ahead. So we'll do... we could do a romance RPG. Hmm. Have we done any space? We could do a space strategy. Let's go crazy, slap it on PC. Everything I build goes on the PC. Uh... Cyber thingy T. I should hire someone? Last time I hired someone, I went bankrupt, so I'm I'm cautious of hiring people. Endless space is actually a game. I'm not trying to make actual games, you silly people. I don't need much there. Well, technically, Sins of a Solar Empire has no story, but we'll keep the engine and gameplay pretty high. We use a buzz with the thing a ding. Sony's prototype dealio, which is going to immediately, technically, be cancelled by Ninvento. Yeah, they'll cancel the projects. I know. Go away. Maybe I should save so I don't have to go all through this dialogue again. I do need a new engine, yes. I can't be bothered, though. What else is new? <laughs> when have I ever done things the way people wanted me to do things? Answer, never. A little bit of world design. I kind of like that. I'll probably make a new engine after this one, depending on what research we've done. The thing is, I don't think I've actually researched anything useful, so... Who, what, where, limited room? Limited... galaxies? Great combo, great combo, hooray, experience. And I'm level 4 now, sweet. Character progression, stereo sound, things I really should have, but I don't have any research points. That's the problem, I have very few research points. You need an operating system to run and use a computer, yes. If you happen to want to use Windows 7, then yes, you would need Windows 7 need some sort of operating system. You could get Linux, but I seriously doubt you know how to use Linux. Except for Star Games, this actually did pretty well. So hooray. 
Let's check our research. I don't think I have anything new to really add to an engine is the problem. Yay, good game. It's not a great game, but it's a decent game. It's earning me money foods, and that's all I really care. Tez is no longer supported. I made a billion dollars. What else is new? I only have eight research. I wish I could gain research in some way just by sitting here, but... Four weeks for that one, or three for that. I think we can get this one done in four weeks. Hopefully. Come on, man. Come on. Don't scratch your head. No. No scratching your head. We're going to lose this because you had to scratch your freaking head. Look at that. Lost it because you scratched your head. <sighs> well, at least you got on research. That's a thing. Five weeks for that. I can totally manage that. If he doesn't scratch his freaking head again, I swear. 517,000 in sales? I'd call that a good good day for gaming. There. Is that so hard, me? Mostly just doing that for research, but it's not really giving me any good research, so... Hmm. I don't even have marketing, my god. I don't have a lot of things. Let's make a game. <laughs> Why not? We will make a... I haven't made any sports or military games. Let's do a military simulation. Ah! Uh -huh. On the Politico engine. And it shall be named... Hmm. I don't know. that. 2D graphics. That's what I'm talking about for my military sims. 2D graphics. Doesn't need a steering wheel. Doesn't really need a story. Does need an engine. Just drop the gameplay down a little. You're pretty pro. That's quite the accomplishment when you're pretty pro at this. Doesn't need a lot of dialogue. Decent AI. I don't know about level design, though. Not that the AI in Arma is actually very good, which is what this is on, by the way. Random Imgur link. For some reasons. Uh, world design. We'll even them all out on this, I think. Twill be what I do. Warland. There's always that, um... No, war game, Europe, whatever, escalation thing. There's always that expansion, another proposition, called Airland Battle, which is the worst name for anything I think I've ever seen. Um, that's too much, and quite frankly, I don't know how much that would help. I decline. Last time I did that, it didn't actually help me any. And then I went bankrupt, so... I don't actually know what it does. Hey! New stuff! And new levels! And stuff! Release it. Multiplayer AI companions. 213 bugs? Says who? Oop! Looking good on the number 10s here. Except for Game Hero, had to be a douche. Give me an 8. Everyone else gave me nines. Oh, that Imgur. Well, everyone else gave me nines, but no. Had to be that guy. Let's get hire someone. Oh, I haven't trained staff management. Right. May as well do that then. Arms performed well. <laughs> I'm glad. Everyone likes arms. Hooray! Well, it's terribly surprising. Haha! -ha! Arma, or arms. 
Arms are indeed useful. Such a realistic fashion that it makes you sometimes forget that it's just a game. Hooray. Yes, tutorial. I've done this before. Your bollocks. Let's up the budget to 60k and see if we can get one guy who's good at something. Hmm. Hmm. Also, there's a storm, apparently. Make a high, high budget? It goes all the way to 2 million, but that's insane. I can't support someone who costs a 2 million or something like that. It's the salary I'm worried about more so than the budget for this. 500k? You people are insane. I'll make 100k. Marketing man is here to help. Apparently Moomin's just gone insane and started quoting things really nearly. Uh, we'll do a game demo. I think the game demo is like the balance between the two or something. Recently moved into an office. Indeed, I've been in this office for ages. So I'll note the game's a little late there, but I've been here forever. Let's see what I got. Garbage. And garbage. And not quite garbage. That's actually quite good. 30k a month is expensive, but that's a good person. I'll go with Art Johnson. Art? Hire someone famous. Apparently this is a famous person. Who's Art Johnson and why are they famous? I need to train them. Blah, blah, blah. Train. Staff welcome. Staff welcome. Now I need to start, start worrying about efficiencies and other crap. Game convention. Sure. Whatever. Make a new engine now. Do I really need it? You're freaking out about them making a new engine thing. I don't trust you. See? That one didn't need a new engine. Sold almost a million! Plus, I don't feel I actually have anything to add to the engine. I will research them now. If I can afford it. What do I have? 36? That's what I usually do, Ian, is I research some stuff and then try to do an engine. Which I may as well have them research something as well. Can't do character progression. I can do simple cutscenes. Let's throw that in there. Because why not? Whoop! Medium games? I don't know if I can handle medium games, man. They're too medium! I can't handle it. It's 4 p.m. When did we start this? I don't know. Now we'll make a new engine. So you can leave me alone. 3D graphics. We'll drop 2D completely off of it. That open world. Let's go with that. We'll name this something. I don't know. We'll name it. Well, no, well. Hmm. Go with that. Make the engine! Por favor. As I get a bajillion research now. 2.75 people. We may as well get a booth. Why not? There's probably a reason why not, but I don't know what it is, so we'll roll with it. So we listen to some sweet Final Fantasy music. Hooray! Is it still raining? Uh, it appears that it is in fact still raining. Real engine is now complete. Two and a midget. Well, that would technically be three. Everyone, we will make a... I think someone earlier said military strategy. Would that actually be good? To me, that would be good, but I'm not this game, so... And I'll keep building it on PC, because bollocks to everything else. How am I supposed to do Escalation Europe if I can't type everything in? Do, do, 
do... That'll be for everyone. We'll, that. we'll make it 3D. First 3D game for no raisins whatsoever. You like rain? I do like rain as well, except for when I'm streaming, because it cripples my internet. Also has the potential of making the power go out, which is bad. Stratego? That's the name you've come up with? <laughs> Good lord. Lots of people visited. Hooray, and such and such. Uh, this is strategy, so gameplay. Simple cutscenes, multiplayer. Let's pump some money into this one, why not? Make all of the money food! I have two people who are really good at their job. Let's see how well this goes. Level editor. Don't need much there. We'll focus a lot on AI. I do not know that board game, no. Oh my god, the hype. What's up with the hype? Wow, the hype is going up. <laughs> Look at the hype go. Is it because of G3? Is it because I was building this game during G3? <laughs> uh, open world strategy game. Sure. I'll focus a little bit on world design. It's still going up. Oh my word. It is still going up. I have a lot of bugs as well. Although it stopped, which means it's going to start going down now. We're good. I think we're good. Europe rains a lot. That's just how Europe is. It's not a great... Oh, it is a great combo. Never mind. What's the 1.6 that I usually get? New combo, great combo... Oh, it's a new, uh, type or whatever. Whatever it is. Day and night cycle! Well, now I can do some bigger research. Except it's gonna interrupt me. Never mind! Nine. I was about to say eight. Good scores so far. Good score so far. Nine, eight, 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 eight. Not bad. I'll roll with that. Let's get some more research. If possible. Um, we have 72. Let's get medium games. Because, quite frankly, I'm curious. And then we could research sequels. Sure. We'll make some sequels. Why not? Maybe we'll make a sequel of Ultimate General and call it Broken Alliance, except I can't fit that. Hmm. It's always a problem. Publishing contracts, uh, market and publish your game around the world. They keep most of the profits. Hmm. Okay, so apparently I can get publishers now? Oh, and I need to research topics. I completely forget about this. There's the play system. It looks identical to a PlayStation now, compared to the previous one. 32-bit processor. Good heavens. That's not what I wanted to click on. That's what I wanted to click on. Let's look at topics. Martial arts. Maybe we can make a fighting game. UFO. <laughs> That's an interesting one. You have three places and one's, ones in your cupboard? I don't think I still have my PS1, because I think the cord broke on it and I sold it. I do still have my GameCube up there, that's a thing. Action's popular right now, so if we can get a action martial arts game out... Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> that's really expensive. I don't think we'll get it out in time, but I, if, it's, if we could... Do I want to make it on the PC? Or something like a console. I probably should have a joystick for a fighting game. UFO martial arts? Ray! I can afford medium, but I don't know if it would be worth it. Hmm. I'll make it on the PC for now. With the real engine. Moral combat? 
<laughs> I actually like that one. Rule with that. We'll try medium. We'll make a mature game. We'll go crazy. I do like Mortal Kombat. That's a good one. I approve. We'll see how well this goes. 3D V1. Mortal Wombat. I think I've seen that before, actually. Maybe I should have waited for the, the play system to come out. Oh, this is what... Okay, I've seen this before. So this is where it becomes slightly more complex, because you have to put people on specific things. Because if I can't see the staff, because the window is too darn small. Maybe I should make the window bigger. Uh, so you can go there, and there, and I'll have you work on this, if I can drag you. Possibly. There we go. So now it becomes a little bit more complicated. Many a peeping tom. Alright, so gameplay, story doesn't matter, it's freaking Mortal Kombat. Engine is probably kind of important. Although I'm doing a lot of the work because I'm on this one, I'm pretty sure. Ah, well, it's fine. We'll be alright. We got this. We got this covered, guys. We got this covered. We're even generating some hype. All one of it. Two! My god! Generating some hype. It's fine by me. Uh, you can be on AI, which is going to overwork you, apparently. You can be on the other two. So then, less AI. That has to go way down to balance the two. Hmm. Not enough staff? You people don't know what you're on about. We'll roll with that, I guess. 734,000 in sales. I'm cool. Cool with that. What is this? It's above the video. Read the title, man. Keep up. Okie dokie. I'm overworking them like crazy. Um, they're just gonna have to overwork. There's nothing I can do about this. So, let's see. You can go on world design go on sound, and we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do for graphics here. No open world. Yeah, we'll cut that off. Um, there's, pretty, there's really nothing I can do about it except just balance them together, but then someone's still going to be... Who do I want to work less? World design. Oh, we're just going to kill them. Hmm. Work myself to death, think of the game. I think that's what's going to have to happen, is I'm basically just going to have to do this. Sound's not so important. The thing is, well, yeah. The thing is, if I drop that, it puts more strain on me. And I'm already way past the limit here. I guess we'll just have to roll with that. See how this goes. Come on, whatever your name is, I need you working. Stop scratching your head. We need to get this game out before action stops being popular. This is important. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Go. Quickly! Quickly! We don't have time! New topic, new combo, great combo! That is going surprisingly well, considering we're way overworked, but bollocks to it. Branching story, dialogue tree. Come on, reviews. We gotta sell games. We gots to sell games. No marketing at all, so going entirely on reviews here. And the reviews are looking decent. Not good, but decent. Considering that's our first medium game and we are technically understaffed. Yeah, yeah, rest, whatever. She's fine, just chill. First medium game is doing pretty good so far. 
I've already made the money back from the cost of building it, so... Everything's profit from here for It's not going to be a lot of profit. But hey. At least we finished it. Oh, she's draining efficient? I guess you do need to send him on vacation. Even if you're not doing anything. See your razor, I guess. Okay, so she's had her vacation. I should probably train as well as research stuff, quite frankly. Business. We'll wait on that for a bit. We'll get some stuff going here. Like stereo sound. Let's get AI companions, because who doesn't like AI companions other than everyone? And character progression. We'll roll that. And then we'll train them. Train one of them. Market is normalized? Well, it's a good thing it did that after I made my game. Haha! -ha. Try publishing deals? That's what I was actually gonna do after this. I got publishing deals right before I made that game, I think. And let's train you. I know, I've been training people. Chill game. A <laughs> romance mature game with AI companions. Perfect. That. Uh, Mortal Kombat actually sold a pretty good amount, given the review scores. Doesn't seem worth seven euro pounds. Nearly a million in sales, pretty good. Hooray! Yeah, I know that's what the game tells you to do, is use publishers when you're low on fans, but I haven't actually tried yet, so... It's kind of irrelevant. Hey, more people than last time. Didn't make it in the top 100. Well, screw you, top 100. Screw you. Are you done training? Chop chop. Seven points. Wow. Maybe training is based on just a set percentage rather than a set number? No, because then it dropped way back down again. Hmm. I don't know. We'll look at publishing deals. Find the publishing deal. Yes, I've been told this before. Pay attention to the royalty rates. See, the downside, of course, is these penalties. Business not researched. Any topic slash simulation. Game size medium, minimum score of four. I'm pretty sure I can manage a minimum score of four, but a medium game size, again, I don't know if I can handle that. Maybe we should try to get another... Well, hmm. Tis Halo, yes, Dutchie. Well done! I don't know if I want to try to do another medium game without another person. I mean, we could try to fill another position? Created a fan game. They don't make any money with it. Eh, that'll be. Not making any money? What do I care? Hello, Martin. We could develop a sequel. Just to fill some time here. On Ultimate General. On arms. We'll do a sequel of... Mm, Castle Siege? We'll do a sequel of Castle Siege and see how well we can do here. I don't even remember what engine this thing was running on, though. Actually, well, no, we can't... Never mind. We can't research anything. We'll go with Castle Siege back here. Wherever that is. There it is. Select. There we go. Uh, we'll make it small still. We'll make it on... PC. Like everything I do. Real engine. And we'll just name it Castle Siege, too, because I'm lazy! Hooray! Greenheart Games, indeed. Thank you, Moomin. Much appreciated. Uh, let's roll that. Keep it medium, I think. At least until I get a third person on this. We'll make it 3D! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Green! Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry. So by default, this should be better than the original, just because we have an additional person working on it. And we'll pretty heavily hit that AI, I think. Hit up that AI, yo. We're getting some hype. Getting some hype. I don't think I have any marketing, no. So we'll just roll with whatever hype we get randomly. The main developer of the Ultimate General fan game. Okay, you're welcome. Best company in the world! We've gained fans. Happy face button. Happy face button is pleasing. Uh, we'll make a strategy game with an open world. I think I gave it an open world the first time. I, think, I believe I did. So we'll give it a bit of world, de world design. Actually, I think we'll balance all of them. There's some charts to put that tell you what the what the sliders at. Why would you want to do that? That takes away part of the fun. And Forged Alliance Forever is not technically a fan game, it's a fan lobby, because you it's not actually the game, it doesn't use any resources from the game. It's just a multiplayer service to connect people and stuff. Excuse me. Doing some pretty good design and technology scores there. Close enough, I suppose it's close enough. What are the reviews like? Got a 9.5 last time, I believe. It's not a good start. Not what I was hoping for, but it's still pretty good, except for Informed Gamer, who is apparently not very informed. Uh, they do patch, they do have unofficial patches, but they do not, it's not a fan game. It's like saying mods or fan games. I'll let that roll. Is there any research I can do that I'd want to do? Marketing, but I don't have enough research points. Day and night cycle. I would like to do that, among many other things. You like that? I got that as well, Mr. Green. I like that. I am pleased that they put that in there. It's one of the mods, Craig. It's the nomads. It's one of the uh, featured mods on there. At least a sequel! Met with great responses! Aye. It's not a mature game, and I didn't even realize there was a strong mature audience. Oops, a daisy. Let's get some training done on her real quick. She needs some design. I probably should have focused entirely on design, but whatever. It will be alright. There are 30... There's technically 35 people watching. They don't talk a lot, but there is 35 people. Mature romance game with AI companions in a day-night cycle. If we can get it out in time, we'll go ahead and try and do that. Castle Siege 2 did alright, by the looks of things here. Go ahead and... Let's actually... Uh, it's sold almost a million. Let's try and fill this position again. I know tutorial, you've told me before. We'll set it to 100k again. You can set a bomb off in chat? I don't think that's necessary. So you're not all that good. You're not all that good. You're not all that good. Hmm. I think this is our best bet, is this guy in the middle. Actually, 218, 181. Yeah, this guy's technically better. We'll hire him. He's not that good, but we'll hire him. He's wearing terrible clothes. Absolutely terrible setup he's got going there, but whatever. Wait for him to get situated, and then we'll start up our next game. In the meantime, we may as well actually create a custom engine, I think, because I think we got some new stuff we could put in there. Companions, day-night cycle, we don't need a steering wheel. Ultimate. Why not? 370k to make that engine. Why the heck not? You fired a guy because of his sweater? Firing someone for their sweat. That would be kind of awkward. I 
kind of agree with that. Uh, medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Woo. I believe medium-sized contracts are basically like building a game for someone. Steering wheel for the mature romance game. I don't know if that's necessary. This guy's still acclimating. Slowest acclimation ever. Whoops. New engine's complete. Huzzah! You've worn pirates? Small booth? Yeah, we'll roll with it. Guided in with a steering wheel? Not too sure about that. Oh, don't get tired now. Actually, we'll develop a sequel just for extra hilarity factor here. Romance of the Three. Horrible game. Mature. Romance action on the PC with the Ultima engine. This will go poorly. Actually, we can do medium now, which is a giant waste of money for this, but we'll go with it. <laughs> a 3D one. I think the last one was 2D, wasn't it? Okay, I can't really see what's going on. We'll drag me there. You can have that one. Drag, please? There we go. We'll focus mostly... We'll add some character progression and multiplayer. <laughs> Why not? Um, we'll focus mostly on engine and gameplay, I think. About right there. There we go. Sure. Roll with that. Although these guys are going to get tired, or at least she's going to get tired pretty rapidly, which may be a possible problem. Oh my god, <laughs> Romance of the Four is actually our booth. <laughs> I oh, what have I done? Oh, and there's 60,000 people there as well. Uh, didn't make it in the top 100, thank god. Uh, we'll focus him... He doesn't have a lot of tech, though, is the problem. We'll put him there. We'll have our other assistant do that, and I will do that. Hello. And AI companions! Yeah! <laughs> I don't know... We'll lower the AI a little bit, up the dialogue some. Just kind of trying to balance it at the moment right now, more so than doing anything else. Leave it at that. Okay. Market is normalized. No. Wanted to sell them a mature romance action game again. Cause why not? Hey, there's the N64 or the Tess 64. 64-bit processor. Uh, it still uses ROM cartridges. Yeah, it's an N64, though. You know how popular that thing was? Oh yeah, hype. Oh my god. The hype on the first one of these was insane as well. Uh, you can go... We'll just kind of spread them out randomly and then work it out from there. 109% on sound. Maybe we'll lower that a little bit. 105. Well, it's sound, though. It's... It's a mature romance action game called Romance of the Four. We need the sound. And I totally need open world. It's a romance game. I don't need open world, you're right. We'll leave her overworked a little bit. She should be alright. Although she is halfway dead as far as that bar is concerned, so maybe she won't be alright. Let's go, people. Work, work, work. Wild Sleepy. Hello, zombie. Welcome to this silliness that I have gone and created. Called Romance of the Four. Still adding stuff to it. Are we done, guys? I think we're done. 36 hype. And some decent scores there. Gameplay level up. Yeah, yeah. This is actually a Link to the Past music as well. I'm gonna take them on vacation, yeah, once we release this. Level 5 of the character, yeah! 
Unlocks a special training item called Boost. It temporarily increase the output. Eh. Pass on that. Especially for now, I'll pass on it anyway. Uh, game dev story is not almost the same, but they have a similar concept. Game dev story came out much sooner than this one. Actually, that was a long time ago when that one released, back in Japan. Uh, this one's more deep. It's more complex, basically, in everything. I figured this one wouldn't get very good ratings, considering the original didn't get very good ratings. He called my mature action romance game uninspiring. How dare you? It's gonna sell like garbage, yeah. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not all that good. But it's about time to start developing for the uh, N64. After I start researching something, some things real quick. Um, like a branching story? Do I want branching story or stereo sound? What have you done? Stereo sound? Alright, we'll go with sound. And then I could have him research some... Actually, he needs to be trained pretty badly. So we'll, th we'll throw the rest of this research at his training. It's gonna slow us down, sadly. Russians? You do see yourself at the chat there, by god! Viewers still rise. I don't know why people are watching me play this. These games are addicting. All of the, the Kerosoft games on iOS I find addicting, despite the fact they're pretty much bland and boring. But, I like them, so. Romance of the Four sold decently well, considering what it was. Wave to the people. Is that better? <laughs> Hooray! This guy's slowing us down, man. Slowing us down. Train faster. I'm just going to keep giving him the same training, because that's kind of like a general purpose training. Is this game viable still? Yes! It is on Greenheart, GreenheartGames.com. Another proposition. Borrow some research. 41,000. Sure. Hacking. Not really worth it. Quite frankly. Once I'm done researching him, we'll try a... Made $650,000. And he's getting tired. Of course you're getting tired now. Bollocks to you. Arena of Thyme? <laughs> Why do my games sell for so long? That one had a lot of hype. So it, I assume that was making it sell longer. One more training session for this guy. Then he'll go on vacation, and then we will do a... Publishing deal. Just forgot what they were called there. I would research some new topics if I wasn't training this guy, and since training takes research, it's kind of... It's kind of a balancing act between training these people and researching things. Can you have a code for this game? Uh... If you gave me $8, I would give you a code for the game. Actually, how much is it? Is it $8? I don't know. I think the game's $8. Go on vacation. Hey, Angus. Go for a new employee? Seven fifty nine. There you go. If you don't have eight dollars to buy it, man. Yeah, you could pirate it. That won't go very well, but you could do it. Alright, he's back. Let's see what the publishing deals are. Can't do that one. Probably couldn't do that one. I could do that one. Seven percent royalties. Eight percent royalties. We'll go with this one. We need any topic, any genre on the PC, which is basically what I do anyway. Thank you, Mr. Green. The harmonica of time. <laughs> so, good lord. We'll make a UFO strategy game. A PC with the Ultima engine. We will call this... UFO Offense. Can I fit XCOM in there? I can. 
can fit the that in that? Oh my god, I can. XCOM UFO Offense. There you go. What was that? Uh, 3D... Why not? Everyone has always, at some point, pirated something. But eight dollars, man. Come down. Uh, character progression, sure. We'll just deck this thing out. A uh, little bit of story. XCOM doesn't really have a very deep story, so... It's already put people on spaces. For whatever reasons. What's wrong with that? Your morals, however. Are you actually downloading the pirated version? You know there's a demo, and the demo doesn't actually make you go bankrupt. So it would actually be a little bit more efficient to just download the demo. You silly people. 64,000 people want to see XCOM UFO Offense. This one's gonna be good. It's actually auto-balancing my people for me for whatever reason. I don't need a lot of dialogue. Lots of AI, lots of level design, medium dialogue. Okay. Hashtags don't particularly work outside of Twitter. Well, that depends on who you're with. They work pretty well with the younger generation. They seem to like hashtags and everything. You spent your summer with a group of Somalian pirates. Uh, let's slap open world on that, because technically the original XCOMs did technically use an open world. Uh, we'll lower world design a little bit. Lower sound a little bit. Just kind of perfectly balance them. Is that possible? Maybe. Whoa, not like that. Haha, everyone's 100%. Like a boss. I like hashtags. I did make an Arma game. I, call, I called it ARMS. It went pretty well. Look at that hype. I still don't have marketing. I don't even need marketing. Screw you, marketing. I get hype on my own. Sup? Hashtag hype. Hype this all day, every day. <laughs> Good lord. Finish. I think that's new records, actually. Yep, new records on both. And it's a great combo. Good management. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that experience. That's what I'm talking about. Hashtag that hype. <laughs> good lord. This one's looking pretty good. They've earned a raise. That's not looking pretty good. Video playback, Easter eggs, better 3D, and soundtrack. Well, the game would have a soundtrack already, considering I have stereo sound, but whatever. What are the reviews? I see some tens. I see a lot of tens hanging around. Hashtag hashtags are cool. I don't think that's how that works. One of the best informed gamer knows the reference. Come on, all games, come on. Come on. Why gotta do that to me? Uh, let's look at more research. We could look into Easter eggs are pretty cheap. Let's do some Easter eggs, because I think that would be fun, I guess branching story, and I think that's pretty much all I can afford, so we'll just start training this guy for the rest of the leftovers. You hate all games? Ray. Oh, and topics. Yeah, we could get a topic as well. We're looking forward to future business. Oh my god, I just realized how much this is selling. I realize it's a publisher deal, but oh my god, those numbers. That's a lot. <laughs> I just looked over there, I'm like, okay. That's a lot of numbers. Movies. How do you make a game? Well, I, I, I was about to say how you make a game out of movies, but then there is actually a game about movies, so. That means I don't know, zombie. Sold 2.4 million units so far. What is that? Oh, that's the, uh, what is that? Dreamcast? Yeah, Dreamcast. I could have looked right there and figured that out. I don't think that Dream the Dreamcast actually did terribly well. 
so I'm kind of going to stay away from that. You need vacation already? Good heavens. Made some good money off of that, so we'll send you on vacation. I can't train you anymore. Sadly. And we'll look at another publishing deal. Whenever she's back. There we go. Because why not? Actually, we could try it. What kind of custom engine do we have here? Branching story I could throw in there. Easter eggs. Not a lot, considering the cost. Your dad still owns a Dreamcast? Really? I see that, Martin. Sun Wars The Force Released. Oh, good lord. Do another publishing deal. Minimum score of 6. Vocabulary slash strategy. What? Hospital Adventure, that makes slightly more sense. Hospital Strategy, minimum score of 7. That penalty is massive. Good royalties, though. 12%. Royalties is what we get, right? I think that's what we get for building it, is the royalties. There is a royalties of 14, but that's the Hospital Adventure, which I don't have hospitals. Codemeisters, I just noticed that. Codemeisters, Codemeisters, Blue Bit Games, Blue Bit Games. I could. I can't do any of these, never mind. Target the young, we shall make a game for the young. I don't know what we shall make, but we shall make one. A uh, romance game for the young! A rhythm game, sure. A rhythm action game? On the play system? The ultimate engine. Hmm. Royalty is just what you're paid. It's your payment for the work. You can stay above with published deals, yeah. That's technically what you're supposed to do. You only get 10% of the money, but as you've noticed, you get massively increased sales. XCOM is still selling. It sold 2.8 million copies. So the money I've earned from that is more than I think I've earned from any game so far, except for maybe the one that earned one and a half million, but that was sheer luck. What was I going to call this? I don't remember. Um, there you go. Roll with that. Next, we'll make it 3D, because why the heck not? Uh, this game, by default, is 30 years. It's already year 12, so... Yeah, you do get more fans, so that does help. Sold 2.8 million units, generating 2 million in sales for us. That's our royalty payments, is 2 million. So the publisher earned 90% of it, so whatever billions they've earned. Green Dirt. Do I even want to know what something called Green Dirt was? Curious. Uh, this is a action game called Ocarina Hero, because why not? I don't think we need really any focus on story or character progression, so... We'll focus on the engine and the gameplay primarily, I think, in my opinion. We'll go with that. Thank you, Psych, for the <laughs> maths. I am not good with maths, so... Ian and his gravel nonsense. Uh, it's a freaking rhythm game, man. We don't need a lot of dialogue. We'll focus on those two. Level editor? Yeah. A rhythm game with a level editor? That sounds like fun to me. I earned 80 cents per game? Is that what it is? So how much did the game sell? That was a... 12% royalties, I think, for that one. That's a cheap game. Which games are always that cheap? Actually, this is technically, what is this, PlayStation 1 era? So what were games back then? I think they were still 40 bucks, so that's still a pretty expensive game. What was I doing? Right, clicking buttons! 
I like buttons. I also like this. This is going pretty well. This is going much better than last time, although my money is going down. Don't need either of those. Focus on sound, because it's a rhythm game. Like that. Although I'm way overworking Johnson there. What if I put myself there? Switch me and Johnson. There we go, that's better. Huzzah! You had to restart at one point? I've already had to restart, so... This is looking pretty promising. There's still a strong young audience, so if I get this out in time... It's got a little bit of hype. Not much, but... Every little bit helps. I really do need some money. Oh no, you would do that game. Immediately before I release my game for young people, the market normalizes. I hate you too, game. I hate you too. Hey, Michael leveled up. I'm not doing a published contract right now, no. Rich backstory. Interesting. Ocarina Hero, how did you do? Looking pretty medium so far? It's actually looking pretty good. I wish I had gotten it out just a little bit earlier. Action games work well on play system. Hmm. Let's get some topics researched. Vocabulary. There's that one. A vocabulary strategy game is still just astounding to me that that exists. There's horror. Uh, there's post-apocalyptic. Fallout, here we come. And another proposition. Lord. Ukraine Man Games. Also, Ocarina here is selling pretty good. Uh, no, I don't want to sabotage. We will take a small booth, though. We will roll with the small booth. Gracias. Yeah, Ocarina's here is doing pretty good. Get some more research done. What does the topics look like? Airplane. Let's get some improved 3D graphics and train this guy, because I don't have enough research to do anything else. So bollocks to it. Radioactive dust? Yeah, I do need to research a joystick if I'm going to do an airplane simulator, which is what I was thinking when I saw that it was an air sim, like Microsoft Air or whatever it is. Wow, 83,000. That's quite a jump from last time. Is that going to boost sales? Because that's what the booth was. Yeah, it is. Okay. And this guy needs vacation. Well, screw you, whatever your name is. Michael something. Can't read his name. Make an airplane game called Airplane? Oh, that's how that works. There's the Dream Vast. Don't care. Dreamcast. Go on vacation. This is going better than last time, and I'm going to save. Because I don't. If I go bankrupt again, I don't want to start over from scratch again. So let's look at publishing deals real quick. Actually. What's our engine look like? Let's upgrade our engine here. It's been ages since we upgraded it. So branching story, we'll take off linear. Uh, Easter eggs. 460,000 to make this engine. What is the engine that Final Fantasy runs off of? Or uh, Fallout, one of the two. Or Skyrim. Or, sorry, Elder Scrolls for that matter. Microsoft Flight's actually not that bad for if you're looking for flight sims. We should get a bigger booth next time? We might, yeah. We might look into that. They use Havoc? We'll just name it. There's a fancy word for peace, or calm. Um, Moomin could probably figure it out for me. 
It was in my my instant message name message name I used a lot, but I can't actually remember the word now. Really big on possessing hawks. <laughs> Real Havoc is Dark Souls Havoc. Well, the only difference really is Dark Souls uses the ragdoll physics from Havoc, which are horrid. You're a real pilot at 13. It's quite the accomplishment, sir. No, not Serene. It's something else. I can't remember what it is. Hello, whoa. Wire. Wire? Whoa. Wire. I'll just go with Serene. We'll roll with that for now. Wow, that takes a lot to get this engine set up. Although we're doing it pretty quick. Multi-genre. Well, thanks for doing that now, game. Ocarina Hero is seriously selling some copies, man. 2.5 million in sales from a young, focused game called Ocarina Hero. Okay. I am pleased by this, but also incredibly astounded. Don't drink coffee. Focus. Focus. My monthly cost is 107000 per month. That's insane. Place is no longer supported. Serene has been completed. And we will develop a sequel for a very old game called First Fantasy. It for everybody, we will make it medium. We will name it First Fantasy 2. To be on the play system. Just like other fantasy games. That Game Sphere? Who, what, where Game Sphere? Tomorrow's your birthday? Well, happy birthday tomorrow. No, not Gravel. Serene. 220,000 to produce this. We will make 3D V2. This is like Final Fantasy VII, which I think was actually... not the first one in the US? Oh, poo. First Fantasy II does make just as much sense as Final Fantasy tw 27 or however many it is at this point. I know what I'm doing. Righty-ho. Uh, so we're gonna focus, it's RPG, so focus heavily on story and gameplay. Actually, drop gameplay down a bit. So, Michael Hayes! I'm gonna swap you out, because you're garbage at that job. I'm gonna put you in there. Okay. Let's do it! First Fantasy 2, we're doing it. There's 44 people watching me make First Fantasy 2. What are you people doing? I would ask what I'm doing in my life, but then there's 44 people watching me do this, so... Easter eggs, better dialogue. We're going to deck this thing out. Max dialogue, drop this a bit. Overworking myself. Is there a way to fix that? Well, that kind of evened out. But he's not got tech. Eh, that'll be alright, I guess. I'll roll with that. This is gonna work, man. This is gonna work. It's gonna do it. I don't have any marketing still. I probably should get on with that whole researching marketing thing. That everyone keeps saying is so important, but I'm not going to. What's the song? A remix from Nier called Ancient Dreams. And I am overworking myself. Only slightly, though. If I drop that down, it starts overworking our world designer. What if I just even them out? Let's just even them out and go with that. Gonna pop some tags. So we've got enhanced 3D graphics, we've got stereo sound, open world, day-night cycle. This is all stuff we didn't have in the first game. And we've got really good design and tech scores for now. Hype is going up a little bit. We've got really good design score. Oh my word. Skyrocket, man, skyrocket. Did you actually find the trap, tr the track there, Moomin? Still adding things to it. Are you guys done? No? The bug, good job. 
Master V will be taken off the market. Don't care. Look at those scores. Didn't get much experience because it's just a sequel, but... Let's see how it does. Hopefully it does well. I'm hoping it does all tens, straight tens. Come on, straight tens. Well, that failed immediately. I didn't get any tens? Are you serious? Seriously? That kind of score and I didn't get any tens? You people are really picky, man. A game hero giving me an eight, man. And look at it sell. This is nothing what a publisher sells, but this is gonna be serious income for me, so. Let us send you on vacation. Research. Mm. Maybe I should save my research for. Multi genre? Maybe that'll help? I don't know. Stop clicking me. Stop it. You named your RPG First Fantasy 2? Everyone who plays this game seems to just make puns out of everything. Tremendously enjoy the experience. Just in just tell a story, it manages to draw you in. A stellar effort by Sleepy Games. Sleepy's Games, not Sleepy Games. These are specifically mine. Thank you, Jason Green. And there's the PS2. Literally a picture of a PS2 with Play System 2 slapped on the side of it. Well done. Instead seems to focus on the strength of the previous system. And yes, I will be migrating to it when that comes along. Why didn't you see his first post? I don't know. Master V is no longer supported. It's fine by me. Let's look at publishing deals again. Startups? Master V? Really? They want me to make THQ? Maybe that's why THQ went out of business. Well, TQD. TGQ. I said that horribly wrong. Three hours of this game? Good heavens. Uh, Ubersoft? Startups RPG? I don't have startups, is the problem. Hospital not researched. And that one's got too high of a minimum score. That's weight and 335k penalty, and your minimum score is 8. That's way too risky. Good royalties, but way too risky for me. Hmm. A knack for security? Yeah, sure. Whatever. What shall we do? Hmm. We could try and develop another sequel for something, like our racing game here. Not mediocre. Where's the racing game? Need for Carts? So that, that's a decent racing game, but there's another one here. Faster than sound, which did good. There we go. I can't research multi-genre, otherwise I already would have done that. Uh, we'll make it medium, we'll make it for everyone, we'll keep it a racer. Obviously. Play system. The Serene Engine! Huzzah! Beam Man in Action Game? Sounds like a splendid title. I'm tired! Hooray! I'm su I surprisingly have not dropped any frames, despite the fact that I'm casting at a higher resolution. I don't even know. This is a racing simulation game. I'm not sure if we need character progression or branching stories. So we'll cut those two out. We'll focus on gameplay and engine. Drop that down a bit. Not too far there. Uh, and I'll put myself on that, and you can be where you are, and you can be there. Gotta balance them, man. Gotta balance them. Chat lag! Winter Moon. What is Winter Moon a play on? We will increase our booth size to... Oh my god, that's expensive. 500k medium booth. We're doing it. We've done it. I've gone done, did it. The Play System 2 can, in fact, hold up to the hype. It is good. We know this. We have lived it. 
the PS2 era was probably, in my opinion, the best. I'll leave all that stuff in, except better dialogue. Is probably the best era for games. Medium boon? Medium boon, ne. Good AI, good level design, kinda meh dialogue. I will give you that, and you that. He's not working very hard. And this is only stage two, so maybe I should leave her there. I can overwork myself, that's fine. We'll deal with that. PS2 is your childhood? PS2 is my teenagehood. NES, SNES, and N64 was most of my childhood. And there is the Micronoft. There is the Xbox. The Mbox, in this case. Well-designed Mbox there. Controller's a little finicky looking, but whatever. Oh, Harvest Moon. Okay, that makes sense. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with the... Mbox, or the Xbox in this case. Final Fantasy is selling, or First Fantasy is selling quite a bit. PS2 has been released. Hey, ooh, look at our fancy booth! Fancy booth indeed! How many people are we going to attract for our First Fantasy 2? Okay. 134,000. Pretty good. That should, oh, look at the hype. That should generate some hype, I was going to say, but we've already got hype, so I'm not sure what it'll do. Day-night cycle. I don't think it needs open world. I uh, will focus a little more heavily on... ...world design than I think anything else. Just a little bit more heavily, though. I still have... I sold my N64. Not terribly long, yeah. I still have above me two Xbox 360s, a GameCube, and a PS2 sitting above me. I have two Xbox 360 360s because they're made of garbage all the time. The controllers for Xbox 360 is great. The actual system itself leaves something to be desired in terms of quality control. Open world racing games are really fun. Stores everywhere are out of stock. The manufacturer can barely keep up. I wish I had actually... I wish it was possible to pre-produce games. Maybe it is, and I just haven't seen it, but... If I could have produced this for the PS2... 3 million in sales. If I could have produced this for the PS2, that would be great. Prompted Micronoff to delay their own debut. Probably a good idea. I should save for a PS3? In the game? <laughs> it's gonna be a long ways away. The PS2 generation lasted a long time. Same as the, uh, the current gen. Current gen lasted a long time as well. We didn't get nearly as high advanced because it's nearly as high as the previous game, but it should be right. Maybe there's a launch title research? Possibly. Um, invest some money into new office equipment. 150k for new office equipment. I don't know why I'd want to get a PS3 in real life, though. It's not going to help the recordings any, because I can't, I can't record console games unless I emulate them, which I can't emulate a PS3. Those are some sweet new computers, man. Faster than light, the racing games, getting horrid reviews. Why is it getting horrid reviews? Horrid reviews. What have you done, faster than light? What have you done? I'm quite curious why it's getting horrid reviews. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? Wasn't much worse than the other one that got nines. No open world? Possible. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges. Join in at any time. There are no prices, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. How do I do that? I would like to do that. How I do? Is it under train? Ah, it's expensive. Hmm. See you, Woo. Should I do that? But I want to research. Let's see, Sean. We'll do that. We'll train this guy with his G3 pixel cup. Go for it, buddy. 
Yeah, faster than the light's not gonna earn us any money. Dumb LCDs, yo. Flat panels everywhere. He's not really... Oh, plus 11. I was about to say, he's not really training much faster than book training, but never mind. Maybe he is. Kind of. Possibly. I really probably should get marketing, I'm aware. It's been ages since I'm supposed to get marketing, but whatever. I'm not going to get a profit profit on Faster Than Light, now. We'll get a publishing deal real quick. Any topic, any genre, mature audience, minimum score of 7. Shall we try? It failed because they expected a space game? Possible. Good royalties. Really bad penalty, though. Minimal score of 7. We will try our darndest. We will try our darndest to do this. We will make a post-apocalyptic action RPG. If you caught on to what I'm doing yet on the PC, on the Serene engine. And we will name it... Hmm. What would be a good pun-like name for Fallout? This is what I'm going for here, by the way, if you haven't caught on. The Sleeping Dead? <laughs> That's not the post-apocalyptic action RPG I was going for, but I like that. Sadly, it's not what I was going for. Uh, climb in? God. Uh, we'll roll with that. Um, 215 to develop. We shall start. I'm losing some fans from Faster Than Light. Hopefully we can make up for that. Branching story, character progression, good quests, good gameplay. Just gonna minimize the quests here. Engine doesn't have to be very high. In fact, gameplay doesn't have to be very high either, but... I'm looking at these over here for that kind of stuff to take effect. We'll leave the engine kind of minimized here. And we'll put Michael Hayes on it, because he's garbage. That's... not Michael Hayes. There you go. I think. The first genre outweighs the second when it comes to sliders. So I should have made it RPG action. Well, it's a little late for that, but technically it's... Fallout is called an action RPG, so that's worth, anyway. Not very much, for future reference. Generating some hype? That's always good. Oh, it's generating hype because we're a publisher deal. Never mind. Uh, better dialogue. Hmm. I think it's called an action RPG, just because that's easier to say than RPG action, but whatever. Uh, decent dialogue. Good both of those, I think. Doesn't have to have any dialogue for that to do anything. Doesn't make any effect whatsoever except make the bars wiggle. Hooray! We'll leave the dialogue a little low. I can't even see the artificial intelligence because the window size. Overworking myself. Probably shouldn't do that. If I do this, that balances it a bit better. You like your name suggestion? Fallout Equestria? Oh, good heavens. What have you done? Only 400,000 in sales. Not as bad as I thought, but not terribly good either. This game needs to be good, or we're gonna just tank in profit here. Or in money, anyway. Open world. Because it needs it. So, good world design. Decent graphics, decent sound. I think we'll lower sound and put more brighter in graphics a little bit there. Michael Haynes, you are being overworked. You are not Michael Haynes. That's better. We'll roll with that. We're not doing too good on the design and technology score, but this is the third phase where most of it pops in, so... It's looking better now. Technology's a little low. Design's pretty high, though. Hopefully it does what I need it to, because I need the money. 100, 100 design, still adding stuff. 
for some reason. I don't know why it does this. It just continues adding stuff randomly. It doesn't always seem to do that. Sometimes it's varying lengths as well. New records! Hooray! Lots of experience. Three levels up. That's what I'm talking about. Christopher Sawyer was your first hire? Really? <laughs> That's fantastic. Go ahead and release that. Uh, earned a raise, which is horrid. Special training. Soundtrack for RPG action. Climb in came in. Not looking good. Looking quite bad, actually. Yeah, we're gonna have a penalty. Because we're not hitting sevens. Why is it doing so badly? Why? Why do you do this? Why do you do this game? Why? We're about to have a massive penalty slapped onto our face. By the way. Game doesn't live up to expectations. Yeah, screw you. We're still gonna get the sales from this, but I don't think we're gonna earn that money back. Strategy games. I'm good at strategy games, but I need to research things. Um, we get soundtrack from you, and then marketing from you. Let's get that done, and then we need to make some sort of strategy sequel thing. We may actually make... Yeah, it looks like, despite the scores, we're actually going to make the money back on this expense, this endeavor here. Oops. I need to make an engine, though. Uh, I think I need to make an engine. Let's check. For the soundtrack, I do. Nothing else, though. We'll pass on the engine for now. Develop a sequel of... something. Ultimate General. What that? Did that do well? That did pretty good. I don't know what we're going to name this. Um, there you go. Medium, everyone. Military? It was military, wasn't it? It was a military strategy... Strategy simulation? I went Fractured Alliance, so it has the same letters as Forged Alliance, by the way. Is what I was actually going for there. Penultimate General? I think Moomin actually recommended Penultimate General earlier. Stra will Strategy Simulation do good on the PC? Because it's strategy. Hmm. Strategy RPG? I don't know. It's a military, though, so I'm not sure... Simulation and military go well. Strategy and military go well. But do the three go well? Hmm. I think I'm gonna roll with this. Although Mr. Green said hold on for some reason. What am I holding on for? I'm going mature for this game because the original was mature, so... <laughs> I think the original one was 2D as well. We're gaining fans from that, so... Um, let's get some decent engine stuff set up, some decent gameplay. We don't need a lot of story. We don't need a branching story, so we can lower the story all the way down, in fact. What if I just nuke that to nothing? Will that have some sort of massively negative effect for this? Strategy is a thing right now, that's why we're doing it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put it on Mature, because this defaulted to Mature, didn't it? I think it defaults to the rating you had for the previous game. I think it did anyway. Oh, we'll roll with this. Go with it! Roll with it, yo! I had it on everyone? Oh. I'm gonna do this. Let's take another medium booth. We're gonna hype this up like crazy. We're gonna hype machine the crap out of this game. Although then if this game turns out to be garbage, we're just gonna tank and fans, I'm pretty sure. Let's 
let's see, level editor, beater, everything, beater, beater all. We don't need any dialogue. Apparently we can still keep better dialogue though, so. What if I put me and Art on these and then this guy down here? Then we're starting to overwork both of us, which is bad. We'll do that. Then I'm only overworking me, and that's all right. No dialogue at all, but better dialogue. <laughs> Good lord. Doesn't make any sense, but we're rolling with it. We're we're hyping it, hyping it, trying for the hype machine. This is without G3, too. And here's G3 Hype Machine to come in here. No, not climb in. Fractured Alliance. You silly people. Let's go. Everyone visit. Our visitors keep climbing, which is making me happy. Didn't make it to the top 100. What is the top 100? Good heavens. Um... That's about what it recommends. Can you Skype me? No. That is about the time allocation it's recommending based on the percentage things over here. Which is only really stressing me. Which is fine. I think. I assume it's fine. I don't know. We're gonna go with that and see how well that works. By the way, this is just time allocation. It doesn't matter if they're all maxed out or if they're all minimized. It it's the same time allocation as far as I'm aware. Ian's back. Hooray! As far as I'm aware, that's how it works. Stop scratching your heads. Thank you. Maxing this crap out. Look at... That's actually selling pretty darn well. Sold 1.2 million so far. Hype 91. Hyping this thing like crazy. Decent sales on climbing. Come on, guys. Plus, we have a popular genre boost as well. I think this is going to do alright. New record. Trend match. Okay. Please. Achievements. Oh, God. <laughs> hot dogged and big. Hot dog and big. Hot dog? Big money. No whammies. Let's just see what the reviews are first. My monthly costs are killing me. Teddy needs... Oop! They're seeing some good tens here. Popping in the random numbers. We're not going to get tens, apparently, but... Eights are alright. Nines are alright. Focus on engines so this game well. Come on, ten! Nope. More, please. Okay. Good scores, though. And it's seriously hyped, so... Yeah, that's going to sell pretty well. Hooray! I'll take 8 plus scores. I am pleased with 8 plus scores, so. My average increased? Oh, sweet. I didn't think it did. Um, I think I'm going to train my dudes. I think I do need to train them. I don't want to do that. We'll keep doing pixel cups for everyone. Pixel cup. Actually, code jam. And. Keep jam. Vacation, my worker? Oh, she does need vacation. Does, does that affect their training? That does seem to affect their training. I think. That does seem to affect their training. Curses! I was unaware! Well, that was a waste of 10 research and however much money that costs. Come along. She's slower about it as well. Normalize doesn't matter, I've already sold it. Come on, lady. I don't have all day to wait for you. Innovation challenge? What does that do? Is that research? It's research. Yep, Dreamcast is dead. Called it. Mostly because it's following history for all intents and purposes. And yeah, got some cash now. Uh, you can do time trials because your speed's a little low. 
aims to get more women into technology. Looking for a sponsor? Sure. Sponsor that. Cool with that. Selling some good units from Fracture Alliance. Not nearly as money as Fallen, I think, sold. But it sold four, 4 million in earnings. You need to go on vacation. This guy needs to go on vacation soon as well. Train you for Pixel Cup. I'll train her when she gets back. If you pick Ultimate General 2, make sure it's actually good. Psh, we can't be doing that, that'd be breaking history. Train your Game Jam. And that's all of the training we can do, so you, no, you, can go on vacation. And then I'm gonna save. Whoop! Sponsored a highly praised move to get more women in tech roles. We'd love to see more women in the game industry. We would! I concur. I will save. History can be rewritten, apparently. Now once these two are done, I'm gonna look at publishing deals again. The play system will be off the market, don't care. I've already made my money off the play system. Okay. What do the publishing deals look like? Minimal score of 6. I don't have airplane, though. Get that. Minimal score of 4? Heck yeah! Oh, royalties are garbage, though. Minimal score of 6, royalties of 10. On the gameling. You know what? We'll try our hand in an adventure game. Let's try it. Yes. Medium game. P topic. It's any topic adventure, right? Yeah. Hmm. Horror adventure? I don't think that would work very well. Um... Fantasy adventure? Medieval adventure? Pirate adventure? I don't know. Space adventure? Would that be kind of cool? This is like the original Game Boy with the monochrome screen, so... I've got everything adventure now. Got two for fantasy. Time is 524. I got two for fantasy. And a caps lock. So that's like a negative one for space. It'll be fantasy. Fantasy, everyone. Uh, adventure, RPG. A serene engine. What should that be called, though? Hmm. Pirate sports sci fi? <laughs> With that? Could you even do that? No, because sci fi and pirate are both uh, topic. That wouldn't make any sense anyway. Fantasy RPG is the best for gameplay. I don't think I can fit that whole thing in there. No, I can't fit the whole thing. We'll have to go with this. So Link has been removed from the series. He's a proprietary name anyway. Can't be getting sued. Maybe we should aim this at young audiences. It is the game Link. That would be more... S younger people are more suited to that, aren't they? Macarena of Time? <laughs> Good lord. The names. Everyone, everyone. I did pretty well with the only young game I've sold, so... We'll roll with 3D graphics. On the original Game Boy monochrome screen, we're rolling 3D graphics. Like a boss. Branching story. Set of story. Needs a lot of story to hold that. What's the engine need? Engine doesn't need a whole lot. So mostly story. And our worst guys on it. That's the best I'll get. Is 3D graphics actual 3D? No, just, uh... Well, not 3D 3D, but 3D graphics. You know what I mean. Not using sprites, how about that? 
actual polygons up in this. Plumber Mario? 3D as in polygons, yes. Oh my god, it's the GameCube, except it's not a cube. The game Sphere. Well, yes, it is in fact a sphere. That is a hideous looking device. <laughs> it's also a hideous green color. Well, to be honest, the GameCube's... I think the GameCube came in purple originally. I think I have a... Do I have the purple or black one? I can't see it through the box. The uh, plastic thing it's in. It's Spurkerl? Spurkerl. That's not a word. This thing is Spurkerl! There's nothing wrong with green. Well, when it's like a neon green. There might be an issue there. I can't see AI is the problem, so I don't know how much that actually needs. Dialogue just doesn't need anything. And that overworks her a lot. I can't see AI, so I have absolutely no idea how much this AI needs. And that's overworking them, so he does need to be up there. Hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra on there. We'll roll with that. Why not? Where's Moomin? Uh, he's still chilling around, I think. I think he is. I don't actually know. Quite frankly. We'll roll with that and hope that's enough. Yeah. It's probably not, and I'll probably get screwed over, but we're rolling with it. This is only phase two, and we've already got some pretty high... 5.9 million. Right, we've already got some pretty high design. I think that's good. I hope that's good. Doesn't need a whole lot of graphics. Doesn't need a whole lot of world design either. 110% on her. We'll swap these two. We'll overwork myself, apparently. That's fine. I can be overworked, that's alright. Skybone? Bound? Skybound? Is that how that's pronounced? Good lord. Get some good hype so far. Well, decent hype anyway. The game sphere. Yeah. Uh, we will take a medium booth again. It's so expensive, but we'll roll with it. Great design. Not bad tech. We're gonna add anything to it? We're adding stuff. We're adding bugs. Sounds about right. That's it. 131,000 monthly cost. Mm. Got a great combo, new record on design, some level ups. Hopefully this mini games surround sound. Hopefully this meets their minimum requirements. The contract's minimum. What was it? Six? Minimum six score? Minimum score of six. Orc Arena of Time. I think that's about the same that we had last time. Come on, Orc Arena of Time. Give me some decent scores. Seven? That's higher than six? It's a good start. That means all the reviews are going to center around six or seven. Seven? I'm meeting the requirement. That's all I care about. How do you get new workers? Six. All right, sweet. 6.5 is what we got. You have to get to the second office, or your first office, technically. Uh, and there will be fill positions. There's a tutorial that'll explain it to you. Hooray, I've been paid. Well, actually, I haven't been paid. I get paid the percentage, but you know. Yes, yes, yes it is! Uh, fallen way below expected numbers, good reviews, chosen platform isn't very popular. Well, I didn't choose the platform. Yell at the publisher. New console in the mobile market. Oh, right, they're going to start releasing new uh, Game Boys, like no nonsense. Make money. It's the answer to everything. They're going to start releasing Game Boys like it's their hobby, because it is their hobby. Game Boys. Um, achievements. Can't be bothered. 
research? Do I need to research gamepad? Is that a problem? Because these the, the things I'm programming for do require gamepads. Do I need to add that to the engine, or I mean, why else would it be there? I don't understand. Twelve hours. A third of that's been me. Oh my god. I also improved my 3D graphics. I could add dialogue trees. Hmm. It's a very large problem. We'll research it. May as well research everything. Uh, joysticks as well, probably. Is there anything else? Relatively cheap, rich backstory? I'll add that. Sounds like a good idea. And then we'll get a topic. Hooray! Topics! So you do need that gamepad research on consoles? Okay. New topic. Um, airplane. Gracias. You can have four workers at this initial office, plus yourself, so five people. Uh, but it gets extremely expensive extremely quickly, so... Uh, let's look at publishing deals before I do anything else. Strategy game? 9%. I don't have a license for that. I don't have hospitals, so never mind. I don't have startups. Capcom was the name of that company? Minimum score? I don't have fashion. So this is the only one I could do. Not much up front. Not much royalty, but it has a low minimum score. Everyone, it's a strategy game, so airplanes. No, <laughs> airplane strategy game. Hooray! I've had my headset on too long, my ears are itchy. Um, a pirate strategy game? Medieval strategy game? That. A medieval strategy simulation. Because that makes perfect sense. War of level <laughs> fantasy RPG. Uh, and this will just run on Serene. Everything runs on Serene for now. This will be called I don't know any mobile strategy games to make a pun off of. Hmm. So we'll roll with that, because that's the first thing I saw. The War of Potatoes. Mace to the face? That'd be more like an action RPG. 3D graphics on a monochrome Game Boy display, because again, perfect sense. Uh, so this is a strategy game, so I don't need... I'll leave branching story on there, why not? Gameplay! All of the gameplay! Focus on gameplay! Max out the gameplay! There you go, gameplay. Fire- oh, Fire Emblem. Yeah, that probably actually... That's a good series. Probably should go with something like that. Because the hype machine... The publisher-based hype machine as it is. As it were. As it be. Orc Arena of Time is actually selling pretty well. Surprisingly. Uh, decent AI, decent level design, not much in dialogue. I just minimize dialogue. Why not? I think I'm just gonna train these people for another round with the research I'm getting here. Because, really, I think training helps a lot. 1.5 million in sales. For a lot of things. Rich backstory. World design needs help. Um, let's see. So we'll get some decent graphics going. We'll get some decent sound going. We'll focus on world design. I think. It's a Game Boy game. I don't think it needs really graphics. I know, but topics. But I need these people need to be good at their job. I know topics are also important. Stuff. Getting good design, getting good technology as well. I approve. Given it's a Game Boy game, you know. Gotta cut me some slack.
We shall see how this goes. 100 technology, just because the game felt like it, I guess. New record! Hooray! Nothing leveled up at all. Probably new engine time. We'll see. So what did I need? I forgot what the minimum score was for this. Seven. Well, I doubt it was eight, because I won't take any games that have a minimum score of eight, so I'm pretty sure we're good, and my ears still itch. Five was the minimum? Yeah, we're good, then. Oh, of course all games shows up. Oh, five was the minimum. Here, let me fix that for you. Do, and that's gonna sell War of Potatoes. It's gonna sell a billion things. Let's check research real quick. Is there anything I desperately want to research right now? Achievements. Let's research. Let's research achievements. We'll train these guys up with some stuff, and then we'll make a new engine. Fallen way below numbers. Well, yeah. The idiot decided to make a strategy game on the Game Boy. Did Agnes? No improved 3D yet, and there's the DS. Not the 3DS, just the DS. And there's the PSP, <laughs> or PPS, the portable play system. PPS, good heavens. Uh, focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. My god! They've got hardware. We'll send them on vacation real quick. We've got these guys more or less time to do yeah, they're going on vacation here. Today, a new game back home, Blark, Blark, Blark has released. Fantastical news. You go to vacation too. Check research one more time. I should probably research, research joysticks. Maybe mini games? Now we'll focus on not firing people. We'll focus on training. No. Come back. Come hither. So I can click on you and do things. Topics? We could get some topics. Since all of these freaking publisher deals want me to have topics, we'll get some topics. I wanted to train my people, but we're getting topics today. So the publishers leave me alone with their silly topic nonsense. Research. Topic. Time travel, fashion, comedy, life. <laughs> Time travel topic. Chrono... Or wait, no, what was it? Uh, I don't remember what it was. We'll just take a small booth, because I'm not doing anything, so... Just a little one. Gave me a million in sales. I'm having serious issues raising money here. I'm disappointed. We shall make an engine. Which is going to cost me money. Wait. Yes, sure. I don't see the point of having a linear and a branching story option in your game engine, but gamepad, steering wheel, achievements, dialogue tree, everything else. Okay, that's expensive. Hmm. engine based on the cry engine for those of you who didn't get that dear esteemed sir slash madam financial advisor at Womoba Womoba oil limited in Nigeria authorize me invests uh, you typoed my name you typoed my name bank requires confirmation true no screw you <laughs> Freaking Nigeria people, man. Nigerians always steal my money. Why you gotta steal my money, yo? There's my tiny booth. Apparently made of titanium bolted together. How many people are gonna visit? Probably not much. Actually a lot, given it's a small booth. 138,000? 
Why you typo my company name, yo? Danko, Danko Runo be stealing my money. Mug him quickly. If that really worked, there's probably someone who's played this game and actually clicked that. There are people who do that in real life, so I'm sure someone's played this game and done that. And then lost. Or maybe, maybe if you actually do give them money, they give you money. You never know. If they did, I would be quite sad. <laughs> yeah. Few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. Haha, -ha, you fools! Achievement! 500k in a new game engine. I would like to train these people. I don't have a lot of money, is the downside. I don't think I have enough money to actually train people. Let's make a sequel of this. First Fantasy 2 selects. A medium game, it will be called First Fantasy 3. Have you caught on? See you, King. Uh, so, fantasy, RPG, action. No, adventure. Action, adventure, RPG? I wish I could multi it all over the place. Be on the PS2. Oh, 350,000 for that license. Good heavens. 3D graphics. Let's get this under control here. Two million game. There probably is an achievement for that. To Deathland we go. Let's see. Gamepad control. Achievements control. Achievements control. Uh, we'll focus heavily on story. That should be good, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully this does as intended. We're generating hype already. I want to market this, but I don't have the cash. So... Apparently there was an interest in the market. Look at the design already. Dialogue tree. The problem is I'm adding this stuff to it. It's just going to be so expensive. So we'll bump that just all the way up, and then we'll work with everything else. I wish I could see the AI. I really do. I wish I could see the AI. We're negative! This is only stage two as well. We're gonna go bankrupt. Again. Didn't take very long, but we are going to go bankrupt. What, did I research for it to tell me where the sliders go? I didn't research anything, it just always does it as far as I'm aware. Um, level editor? Why include that? I don't know. It's a level editor. I like level editors. Put you up there, we'll bump up this, we'll bump up that. Something like this. Something along those lines should be good. Uh, it's worse when you take a loan? Well, if I don't take a loan, I lose. And I have negative 372,000, so... Three million! Good heavens! Apparently the loan has gone up. GG! Mine was a million, it was 500,000 and then a million in a year last time. So we either go bankrupt and lose, or we agree and just see if we can pull it out. I'm gonna go ahead and agree, and just see what what this game gets us. I don't think this game is gonna pull us out and earn like 4 million, but it's looking pretty good so far. In fact... Bollocks to it, let's uh... Let's market this. Let's market it like crazy. Let's get an expensive market and go for it. Yeah, I need to make a ton of money just to break even on this thing, so... Are we done? Not done adding stuff to it? Yeah, new platform, whatever. 
Still adding stuff to it. 54 hype. Some pretty good scores here. This is mine. This is not a contract. And I'm definitely going to go bankrupt, yes. Gambling's done. I got some level ups, that's a thing. And of course these people have to earn more money. Basic physics, save to cod mod support. There's mod support. So this is the farthest I've made it, which is year 16 so far. Let's see what the views say. Looking good, kind of, so far. Nine? Take a nine. I'd like tens. Can I get tens, for God's sake? Oh my God. Just give me a ten. Thank you. Somebody finally gave me a ten. Took. I got a ten in like the first year, and then it takes another 16 to get another ten. Good Lord. Well, Final Fantasy III, can you save us from bankruptcy? The, pro the answer to that is probably yes. Considering I earned 1.4 million in the first week. Can I pay back loans now? And not have them bother me? I can't pay back loans. Character dialogues in this game are just outstanding! First Fantasy 3 really deserves the top spots. I concur. I'm not even rank 1, by the way. Not even close to rank 1. Well, I earned the money required to pay them back. I can't pay them back right now, but I earned the money for it. Hmm. Got a lot of money. Let's train some people. Let's spend some of that money and train some dudes. And then we're gonna make another game. Um... What? Oh my god, that's expensive. <laughs> Five million credits and 200 research points for specialization. Okay. Million on engine like a boss. Doing it! I think half this money is going to be spent paying these people's wages while they train. Then make sad wheels. <laughs> make a game of sad wheels. Good lord. 5.4 million in sales. I was kind of hoping that would stay on the market longer, but... Yeah, he's going to be tired in a second, because she is. What day do I have to pay it off? The end of the year, which sadly is six months. So I have to somehow manage to keep enough money to pay them off. I am not going. You go on vacation. It's always a good sign when I say, I'm not going. Let's get some time trials. Electra Dracula. This is from Banjo-Kazooie, for those of you curious. Just take a loan from the other bank. I think that's how that works. Let's get some time trials going on people. Just do publisher deals until I pay it off? That would probably be a good idea, because I don't have to pay... Well, I get upfront pay, so the actual initial cost of making the game is not so bad. Three months time. Apparently a month ten they're required to pay that. Um, let's do one more training and then we'll see about doing a publisher deal real quick. Apparently three months time is when I have to pay it off, not at the end of the year. Come along people! Stop spending on training? I gotta spend it on training though. Training! It's gonna spend money every month anyway. So I wanna make my people better and then try and do some sort of deal. Come on dude. I don't have all day. There we go. Publisher deal. Let's see. Minimal score of 5. Haven't researched it. Minimal score of 5, but I need a license. Minimal score of 4, but I need a license. I never actually made anything for the N64, did I? I don't have time travel anymore. Anyway. So the only one I could do is this, and it's 3 350 for a license. 
Um, I'm gonna have to say no. Maybe we should try and develop a sequel? We should try and do something? Let's make a small game. Let's make a very simple and cheap game. As cheap as we can possibly... No, no. Never mind. <laughs> Let's do some contract work then. Play it safe. 60k, 9 weeks. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Yeah, we can do that and have plenty of time left over. That was a quick 60k. Although that's less than a month's worth of Time, so how much that's going to help me, I'm not entirely sure. The thing is, once I pay off this loan, I'm going to go bankrupt again. So I'm not sure exactly how much this is really helping us. Nice job. Thank you. That guy's holding his hand up, waving or something. Hello, dude. Tis the cycle, I suppose. Um, 51 on that. Install Micronet's boss on computers. Okay. We should be able to do that. Okay, now I have basically no money. Let's see about a publisher deal. Quite a few players use illegal copies. Uh, Final Fantasy 3. Got to sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. Technically, I'm legally allowed to sue them, but we'll go with a warning. Don't anger the pirates. Well done! Alright, let's look at publishing deals again, see if there's anything new. It doesn't look like there is. Let's try this. We'll pay for the license. UFO Adventure Game. Uh, adventure Action? Sure. On the cheer engine. What what would we call this? Hmm. I don't actually know if I'm gonna have time to finish this game. I'll probably end up saving it and then continuing this at some other day. Pro. We'll go with that. Why not? Um. We'll go ahead and just start the production. See if what happens here. It's gonna be an expensive game because I'm gonna throw crap at it. GameSphere will be taken off the market already? I didn't think the GameCube got taken off that quick. Uh, we'll take character progression off, because that's massively expensive, and wrenching store. Which will probably screw me over, but... Do something like that. It's so tiny! 83.4k? Yeah, that's gonna go down again, and we're probably gonna go bankrupt again. Probably gonna have to take a loan out again. Piracy is an increasingly big problem. Some companies invest a lot of money. And we've obtained fans. 208. Whoopty freaking do. I only had 60,000. Did I pay out the first one? Yeah, that's why I have no money. <laughs> it's kind of a downside. Take both of those off, because I'm poor. So we'll, just, eh, we'll do a little bit heavy adventure. A little heavy level design. There you go. I don't know what it's a joke on. Someone said probe, and I like the name, so I went with it. Unfortunately, you are bankrupt. I don't get a second loan, apparently. Well, it's a sad day. <laughs> uh, probe will never see the light of day. <laughs> I'm not sure if Probe was intended to ever see the light of day given the name, but you know. It's a UFO game named Probe. Unfortunately, I am bankrupt. And unfortunately for you all, that is the end of the stream. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>